Hello, peasants. <laughs> hey, eyes up here, perverts. I see you eyeballing my gullies. Stop looking at my bazoombas. They belong to Paul. Well, they used to belong to Paul. Nowadays, he doesn't even notice them at all. He hasn't touched them or looked at them in years. He only cares about his Instagram horse. He never looks at me. He's always drunk. He never has time for me. He never touches me. We never talk. He sleeps on the couch and when he comes to bed, he sleeps on the floor. He never comes home and when he does, all he wants to do is watch porn up. He won't kiss me because he says my gentry smell weird. It's not my fault my gentry smell weird. He stopped smelling my farts. Paul used to love smelling my farts. He used to say, oh my gosh. Your farts smell so good. I miss those days. I stopped wearing the pants because Paul said that wearing the pants is gross. But he didn't even notice. He just walked in the door and said, Ew! It smells like sitting here. So embarrassed. I tried so hard, but nothing is ever good enough for him. I have to drink vodka all day just to feel normal. All he says is, Hey, Nancy, what's wrong with your eyebrows? Hey, Nancy, why do you smell like mushrooms? Hey, hey Nancy, your makeup looks like cake frosting. Or, hey, Nancy. I'm gonna throw up. I don't deserve this. I wanna cry, but I can't because of the Botox. I just want a man that loves the smell of my dentures. A man that accepts my dependence and enjoys the smell of my moist, juicy farts. I'm so alone. Anyways, <laughs> please send me money so I can fight for women's rights. Good night, peasants! Sorry about that. We have breaking news. The twice impeached President Donald Trump's son, Donald Jr., viciously assaulted a group of innocent victims in an elevator just seconds ago. Breaking news. Donald Trump's criminal son, Donald Jr., assaults a crowd of people. Investigations are underway as the world waits in fear. Breaking news. President Biden has just declared a state of emergency as the manhunt for Donald Trump Jr. continues. A candlelight vigil will be held tonight in memory of the survivors. It was horrible. Um, I mean, what, what kind of society are we living in when we can't let me get into an elevator without being burped on? You can tell he was on a mission. He just stood there and burped. People like that belong in prison. From what I remember, it sounded like a Russian burp. I'm like a survivor, but I almost died. And I think he was staring at my butt. He so wanted to date me. What kind of monster would do something like this? I blame his father. They both belong in prison. This is truly the darkest day in American history. You don't want to know what we went through. Donald Trump Jr.? Yeah? FBI, you're under arrest. Breaking news! Elevator terrorist Donald Trump Jr. has been arrested and charged with assault. The district attorney is pushing for the death penalty. And in other news... Hunter Biden made another amazing video. Way to go, buddy.
So you knowledge, but Breaking news! Twice impeached, no longer President Donald Trump, viciously assaulted a group of innocent victims in an elevator, causing mass panic and outrage throughout the nation. We have a developing story. The manhunt for the elevator terrorist Donald Trump continues as the world waits in fear. A candlelight visual that's being held for the survivors of this unspeakable crime. This just in. Former not my president Donald Trump attacks a group of innocent people in an elevator just seconds ago. Uh, I, I, I'm declaring a state of emergency. Uh, I, 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 America is just not safe with this maniac on the loose. My team and I will work around the clock until Trump has been captured. The FBI has launched a full investigation yep. into Trump's elevator attack. Yeah, we got every officer in America out there looking for Trump. That's right. And we won't rest nope. until Trump is arrested and charged to the full extent of the law. Life in prison. Uh, until Trump is indicted and given, <laughs> and given life in prison for this heinous criminal assault. <laughs> Democracy will never be restored. This is a disgrace to America and uh. all mankind. I agree. Who needs to be in prison for this? Can you describe the attack? Oh, I, I, I've never been so afraid. Um, my whole life flashed before my eyes. And how were you able to get away from Trump? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it just, it just all happened so fast. I, I think the only reason I survived is because of my years of street fighting experience. <laughs> what was going through your mind while Trump was assaulting everyone? <laughs> well, I, I, he, he was definitely on a mission, but I, I, I wasn't scared. I mean, I, as, as soon as he started freaking out on everybody, my corn pop training kicked in, and I took him out. Alexandria. Yeah? How did Trump's elevator assault affect you? Well, technically, I wasn't, like, there or, like, whatever. But if I was totally, like, there, I could have, like, totally almost died. Do you have any advice for the families out there while this manhunt for Trump goes on? Yeah. Um, lock yourselves in your houses. Uh, shut down your businesses. Take your kids out of school. Get vaccinated. And wear a mask so Trump can't see you. We're going to need at least two weeks to flatten the Trump curve. Brian, yeah? how were you able to survive this attack? Well, I don't remember much. It happened so fast. I passed out, and when I woke up, Trump was saying how sorry he was. But the damage was already done. The doctor says I'm unfixable. Mr. President. Oh, the president's here? <laughs> hey, where, where's he at? Has Trump been caught yet? Uh, no, no, he hasn't. Uh, but uh, we're doing everything we can. I, I don't care how much taxpayer money we got to spend. We're going to find him and we're going <sighs> to... Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, that's okay. So you knowledge, but... <laughs> Hello, everyone! It's me, your friendly neighborhood rhino! You might know me from my nickname Pierre Delecto, or Liz Cheney 2.0. So I guess you heard the news. Yep, it's true. I'm not running for re-election. Now, before you start crying and begging me not to go, I just want to assure you that this has nothing to do with everyone hating me, and it absolutely has nothing to do with my internal polling saying I was gonna lose. I just needed a new start, a new goal. A new life. I needed a change. And I found that change here at Burger King. Welcome to Burger King. Can I screw up your order? You see, here at Burger King, you can have it your way. And I'm not okay with that. That's why I'm changing the slogan to, you can't have it your way. I'm also replacing the flame broiled Whoppers with Mitt Romney Rhino Dogs. Aren't these Rhino Dogs delicious, Mitch? Mitch? And at Mitt Romney Burger King, we deliver these hot, fresh, juicy Rhino Dogs right to your doorstep. But I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't gonna miss the Senate. The secret late night dinners with Chuck Schumer. The morning sponge baths with Cory Booker. And the happy ending massages from Kamala. But it's not all bad though. I mean, I left Utah in debt. I accomplished absolutely nothing. I started wars. And I can rest easy knowing that I really screwed things up. Plus, I ran into an old friend at my new job. This is all Trump's fault! That it is, Liz. That it is. Look, I know Utah is gonna miss my warmongering, backstabbing, and fence straddling, but I needed to make a change for me. 
and I've received so much support from the Utahns. Just listen to these amazing comments. Fred Thompson wrote, don't let the door hit you in the ass. Tanya Struthers writes, good riddance. Tom Phillips said, Utah is better off. <laughs> Nancy Taylor says, finally, some good news for once. And Cameron Jackson wrote, I only wish it could have happened sooner. Powerful stuff. Anyways, I gotta get back to work. Welcome to Burger King. Can I screw up your order? Bye, you rhino. <laughs>
see my baseball? Somebody help me! I'm dead! My mother's not too! Who are you guys? What is it, boy? Ah. Joe's in trouble! Ah. Good boy! Change it to him! Oh! Wow! That's a good looking hammer! Joe, are you okay? No, I'm dead! No, Joe! Don't be dead! Hey, it's too late! I'm dead! Goodbye, cruel world! Well, now you can vote for John! <laughs> oh my god, really? Oh my gosh, you know, oh, it's devastating. <laughs> Ooh, don't do it. Hey. hey, Nancy, who are you? Just your average everyday superhero. What are you doing here? I was just flying around doing random idiot checks. Well, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Can I offer you a drink? No, thanks. I never touch the stuff. Well, I suck them down like Coca-Cola. <laughs> can't you tell? Yeah, I can. <laughs> I'll just sit down and stay a while. All right, but I can only stay for a minute. <laughs> Smells like shit. Sorry. I need to be changed. People, this is not funny. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be good. He's, he's got the lowest approval rating in history. <laughs> I'm so glad I wore two pairs in the pants. The highest inflation ever. <laughs> hey, Richard Pryor, you're hilarious. I just pooped in my pants. Businesses are shut down. Families are hungry. Stop it. Stop it. I, I can't breathe. Have you seen the people this man is putting in charge? <laughs> Jill, I just pissed myself. Um, did you fart? You can smell that? Yes. Sorry. Um, it, it actually started off as a butt whisper, but um, <laughs> it ended up being a really moist shark. So, do you need to take a shower? No, no, no. I mean, it's okay. I'm wearing the pants. Have any last words? Last words? What? It's over, Joe. Uh, what's over? It. It's all over. Hey, come on, man. What's going on? Where, where am I? You're at the end of the road, Joe. <laughs> are Are you firing me? Uh, no. <laughs> We're not firing you, Joe. Oh, well, that's good. We're just getting rid of you. <laughs> getting rid of me? Yep. We're getting rid of you, Joe. Welcome back to January 6th Theater. I'm your host, Nancy. And I'm your host, Nancy. It's been a very productive couple of days, huh? Yes, it has, Nancy. And it looks like the January 6th Theater is just about to start. The Honorable Judge Pelosi is coming out. Order in the court. Um, did you fart? You can smell that? Yes. Sorry. Um, it, it actually started off as a butt whisper, but um. <laughs> it ended up being a really moist shark, so... Do you need to take a shower? No, 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 I mean, it's okay. I'm wearing the pants. Um, hey, you got anything to drink? Nancy, I would like to present to you the Money Launderer of the Year Award. Wow, this is such an honor. Thank you. You earned it. Too many people I want to thank. I mean, the American taxpayers, without you peasants, none of this would be possible. You have a gift for laundering money, Nancy. Oh, you're going to make me cry. Can we go to the Standard Hotel now? Not now, Adam. I'm busy. But I'm hungry. Adam, you be quiet, you hear me? Be quiet. I want hot dogs and pasta. Damn it, Adam. Not now, okay? Sorry, my dear. Um, <laughs> Adam just loves his hot dogs and pasta. I know. Your Honor? Objection! I didn't even say anything. Sustained! What, Your Honor? Michael Sussman is innocent! Objection! Overruled! Your Honor, can I approach the bench? No, you can't! Can I ask the witness a question? I plead the fifth! Sit down, Durham! But, Your Honor, one more word out of you and I'll hold you in contempt! Your Honor, we'd like to drop all charges! What? Has the jury reached its decision? Yes! I, I said everything you told me to say and I did everything you told me to do! And we appreciate that joe you did a great job yeah joe it, it was great working with you but we don't need you anymore <laughs> you, you don't need me anymore well actually we never needed you <laughs> but i won the election <laughs> you um uh, you want to tell him hey come on man I, I don't understand what's going on and that's why we picked you joe <laughs> yep you're good at what you do joe but unfortunately you can't be president anymore be because of him americans can't afford gas they, they can't afford rent. They, they can't even afford to eat. What a truly funny observation. <laughs> Have you seen what's on his son's laptop? Oh, man, that's a good one. Do you realize how much money this man has? <laughs> it's funny because I got a lot of money. His son is the smartest person he knows. <laughs> Eddie Murphy is so funny. Yeah. You want to change me? <laughs> no, I don't. Wow. Ugh. What is it? It's your breath. Smells like a turtle took a crap on a pile of burning hair. Sorry about that. <laughs> I've had a piece of chicken stuck in my dentures for a couple of days. Yeah, <laughs> You're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, thanks? Uh, I could spend a weekend in your eyes. All right, I gotta get going. Yeah, I gotta take a jump. Ugh. Okay, so let's say you have a box of rocks. Okay, and you grab a potato from the box. 
Potato? You said it was a box of rocks. Sorry. Okay, so you grab a rock. So is there a potato in the box? No, listen, okay? So, like, you grab a potato. You said there was no potato. Whatever. Okay, so there's, like, a box of potatoes then. Are they mashed potatoes? No, they're just regular potatoes. Okay. Okay, so I grabbed the rock. You mean potato. Whatever. Well, are they rocks or potato? Oh, my gosh. It's like you can't even understand what I'm saying. Let's just move on, all right? Well, did you even get what I was saying, though? Yeah. Nancy, I would like to present to you the Money Launderer of the Year Award. Wow. This is such an honor. Thank you. You earned it. Too many people I want to thank. I mean, the American taxpayers, without you peasants, none of this would be possible. You have a gift for laundering money, Nancy. Oh, you're going to make me cry. Be because of him, Americans can't afford gas. They, they can't afford rent. They, they can't even afford to eat. What a truly funny observation. <laughs> have you seen what's on his son's laptop? Oh, man, that's a good one. Do you realize how much money this man has? <laughs> it's funny because I got a lot of money. His son is the smartest person he knows. <laughs> Eddie Murphy is so funny! Americans can't afford to pay their bills, but the big guy over here is getting 10%. Yeah, I'm actually getting more than that, but that was pretty funny. Wait a minute. I'm the president? <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Joe. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you too. <laughs> Goodbye, Joe. But I've done so much! I mean, look at the gas prices! Look, look at the inflation! Look, look at all the empty grocery store shelves! We know, Joe. <laughs> we know. Yeah, we know, Joe, but you gotta go. <laughs> yep. It's time to go. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Where, where am I going? Someplace nice and hot. Oh, that sounds good! Um... What about Kabbalah, though? Well, she's, uh, she's gonna be joining real soon, Joe. Uh, well, then who's gonna be president? <laughs> president Pelosi, did you flip that switch, please? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> hey, Kamala, can you come downstairs, please? <laughs> can we go to the Standard Hotel now? Not now, Adam. I'm busy. But I'm hungry. Adam, you be quiet, you hear me? Be quiet. I want hot dogs and pasta. Damn it, Adam. Not now, okay? Sorry about that. Um, Adam just loves his hot dogs and pasta. I know. So, um, explain climate change. Okay, so there's like this thing in the air that makes things like hot and junk, mm -hmm. and I can totally make it not hot if you send me money. Well, uh, what's the thing in the air? Um, I can't really tell you that because I took an oath as a scientist. So you a scientist? Oh yeah, I'm a scientist. How did you become a scientist? Um, it was actually a lot easier than I thought. Uh -huh. Um, I just woke up one morning and I said, I'm a scientist. While you can't afford groceries, this guy gives all of the Americans money to other countries. <laughs> It's funny because it's true. <laughs> While you suffer, he's getting richer. If your pants are full of poop, clap your hands. <laughs> this man is a criminal. It's true. I get away with everything. Well, why is he not impeached? Oh, man. Kevin Hart, you are funny. He has destroyed this country, and you're clapping for him. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> I can guarantee you, he has no idea where he's at right now. <laughs> Hey, Dave Chappelle, this is the funniest damn comedy jam you've ever done. Can I get your number? <laughs> no. Will I ever see you again? Maybe you will, Nancy. Maybe you will. Seriously? Yeah. I'll come and visit you in prison. Ah, wait! You never told me your name. My name? Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> My name is Ultra Mega Superman. <laughs> Okay, so like this is totally hard, but I almost died today. This is um, really hard to talk about, but like I'm like totally a social mediologist. So I'm gonna tell you how I almost died again. Okay, so like there I was, just about to let everyone into my super duper amazing speech. The line was so long. It was like seriously like five miles long. People were screaming, I love you, AOC. Cars were driving by honking their horns and throwing flowers at me. There was a double rainbow in the sky. Everyone was shouting, AOC for president! <laughs> then, all of a sudden, just as I was about to say hello to my millions and millions of fans, a racist Trump supporter who was staring at my big juicy booty and wanted to date me, jumped out of a helicopter, landed on a dirt bike, did a wheelie into a mega monster truck and screamed, Get out of here! This is mega country! While he threw carrots at me! I didn't know what to do! He started singing the national anthem and like totally lighting up fireworks. I was scared. He called me a liar. He said the Pledge of Allegiance. He was quoting the Constitution and he was holding an American flag. He was so rude. I threw up. I was shaking. I couldn't breathe. I could barely stand. And honestly, I don't even know if I'm still alive. I think I died. I think I'm dead. And then he got into a gas guzzling truck and drove to work. <laughs> he totally ruined my super amazing speech. It was worse than January 6th. The only thing I could do to protect myself was to jump into my Tesla, 
I drive off to like totally one of my luxury apartments. Hang on, I gotta go check my pulse. Welcome to the Grassroots Propaganda Fundraiser! <laughs> Welcome to the Grassroots Propaganda Fundraiser! <laughs> Alright guys, before we get started, who gets to keep the money? I do. I do. <laughs> Jinx, Jinx, you, you owe me a coke. coke. Now, I thought you had some coke backstage, but I, I thought I was going to keep the money. <laughs> Let me know when you guys figure this out. <laughs> hey guys, I, I need this money. You know, I, I got that Epstein client list thing and the whole Lolita Express stuff. <laughs> Hillary can't help me no more. Yeah, well, me and Mike, I mean, uh, me and Michelle, we, we need the money, too. Barely scraping well, by. I need the money, too. I, I, I need it to pay it for Hunter's legal fees. I need it for legal fees, too. Well, Michelle needs it so she can sit down the pee. Hey, hey, hey! You said there was going to be a buffet! Where's the buffet? Oh, wow! Letitia James is here? I, I gotta get her autograph. Uh, come on, Joe. We need to figure this out. All right, let, let's just agree that the president gets all the money. Sounds fair to me. <laughs> I'll take it. But, but I thought I was the president. Don't be silly, Joe. Who do you think was whispering in your ear for the last three years? That was you? Oh, man. I thought that was a ghost of corn pop. Well, I was president before both of you, so technically I should get to keep the money. <laughs> Wait, so, so you're telling me that I could save a bunch of money by switching to Geico? Well, what if we split the money 50-50? <laughs> uh, come on, Bill. Do I look like the kind of guy who's holding a cigar? Well, what if we talked about your birth certificate? Or we could talk about Watergate or the Clinton Foundation. Or we could talk about Obamagate. Or we could talk about Juanita Broderick or Paula Jones. We could talk about Obamacare, too, if you want. And we could talk about you lying under oath. Hey, I did not have sexual relations with that wild. Damn it! I think I let the weed whacker on again. Why don't we talk about Big Mike? <laughs> Why don't we talk about the Lolita Express? Hey, Obama, you get the money? Uh, hang on, Diddy. I'm taking care of it. Hey, Joe. Yeah? Tell Hunter he owe me money. All right, sir. And you owe me money too, Bill. Hillary, P. Diddy and Obama have information on you. A few moments later. Hey, how's your ice cream, buddy? Hey, hey, weren't we supposed to beg for some money today? We already did, Joe. Oh, good. <laughs> hey, did, did, did we get any money? Oh, yeah, me and Hillary got lots of money. Hey, did, did, did I get any money? Yeah, you're holding it in your hand. Wow, I got an ice cream cone. Six hours later. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. We just got caught now, cause we've been bad boys for life. Alright people, here's the deal. I, I, I know my son and gas prices are extremely high right now, and they're gonna continue to get higher, but it's not my fault, alright? So stop blaming me. Squirrel, uh, if you want, if you want to blame somebody, Blame Trump. I got a little message for you companies out there running gas stations. Stop it! Stop it right now! Bring down the price you're charging at the pump! Do it! Do it now! That's in order! Enough with this malarkey! Woo! Good thing I had my Twitter notifications on. All right, everybody. You heard the president. Drop the price of gas at two bucks a gallon. Do it now! Yes, sir! The same guy that beats up his employees and carjacks secret service agents has made your gasoline so expensive it's left you no other choice but to go out buy an electric car. I don't have any control over anything, so I, I can't do anything but blame others with my big bag of Trump's fault. You know, at first they told me to say Trump, Putin, and Russia, Russia, Russia. Now they're telling me to blame the gas companies. And I can't believe I gotta say this, but unlike the last president, I'm not gonna do my job. I'm not gonna take responsibility for anything. And I'm sure as hell gonna blame others. Because this job isn't about you. It's about me. Sure, I have the power to use executive orders, but I'm saving all that for Hunter's legal problems. Um, look, uh, I'm not gonna beat around the bush here, all right? Since I took office, I've used an entire bag of Trump's... It's about time that I open up a new bag. And people respect me for that. I campaigned on shutting down the oil industry. <laughs> That's why I got 81 million votes. Because the people believe in me. Like I've said all along, <laughs> I I I'm gonna end the subsidies for fossil fuel corporations. I'm gonna ban new drilling on federal land. I mean, you're gonna buy an electric car whether you like it or not. You know, shutting down the Keystone Pipeline was just the beginning. This is what you voted for, America. You're welcome. So the next time you're at the pump, if you're not happy with the price, you tell that cashier that your president said, bring that price down. Do it, do it now. I'm opening up a big, fresh bag of Putin's fault. That's right, everybody. From now on, everything in America will be sold by opening up a big bag of Putin's fault. See you at the pumps. It's all Putin's fault. I'm the victim here. But there's proof. Proof that this is all Trump's fault. How is this Trump's fault? Because he took money from my campaign and paid my husband. He did? Yeah. 
I don't need to pay my husband to protect me. My husband protects me for free. All right, Corey, where's my money? I ain't protecting you for free. Get out of here. <sighs> Luckily, Dr. Jill Biden was there to save my life. You're gonna make it, woman. <sighs> Thank you, Dr. Jill Biden. You're such an amazing surgeon. Well, I'm glad you're still alive, Whoopi. We need some fresh ideas. Well, well, what if I indicted him for smoking crack on a laptop? We're talking about Trump, Joe, not Hunter. I could keep running for president. That might help. Or maybe I could run for president, and then Barack could be my first lady. Wake up, Joe. Time to practice your speech. <sighs> oh, man. It's February 7th already? Uh, come on, Joe. You got this. Uh, my name is, um... Uh... Read your script, Joe. Uh, are, are you talking to me? Well, yeah, I'm talking to you. Well, I'm the only one here. Who the fuck are you talking to? Joe, read your script. All right, um, my my name is, uh... Joe. Joe, yeah, yeah, my name is Joe. Good job, Joe. You're ready to give your speech. Hey, 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 is Trump in prison yet? Uh, not yet. Well, keep trying. You know this, man. Welcome back. Starring the House Speaker, Joe Azuzu, Knee Pads Harris, and Mumbling Joe Biden. All right, Joe, just like we rehearsed. Hey, what's going on, man? Speaker, I'll be on the band if you need it. President of the United States. Wait, what? What's going Joe on? Joe Biden. Where are you taking me? Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to mumble. Can we indict him for going to Epstein's Island 26 times? No, we can't do that. Why? Because we tried to indict Trump, not your husband. Page 45! Come on, guys. We gotta get serious. Me and Truck can't do this by ourselves. My name's Chuck, Nancy. What? You called me Truck. My name's Chuck. I don't know what your name is. You like to be so rude. I'm not being rude. I just don't like being called Truck, that's uh, all. Change the record. This whole thing is backfiring on us. What are we gonna do? I don't know, but we gotta think of something fast, and Trump's gonna get away with it. Jesse, you got any ideas? Yes, I do. Well, what is it? You see that smoking hot girl over there? Yeah! yeah! Let's go talk to her. Let's go shopping! Hey, hey, hey! It's another indictment day! You going down for this? You going, going down, Trump! The guy! <laughs> Lock him up! <laughs> <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> You have no idea what my life is like after hearing Trump say bloodbath. My counselor says I'm unfixable. I'm launching a full taxpayer funding investigation on this bloodbath massacre that Trump is planning. He needs to be in prison for this. I'm like slowly putting the pieces of my life back together. Trump's bloodbath. It's changed me. Remember when he told everybody to be peaceful? Yeah, we knew what peaceful meant and we know what bloodbath means. You're going down! Hey, hey, hey! Is Trump in prison yet? Nah, not yet. Well, keep trying! All right, I will. You figure out how to put Trump in prison yet? Nah, what about you? Nope, I ain't got nothing, girl. Yeah, we need to figure out something fast or we gonna be in prison. I hear you. Fanny, I need you to get up today and go look for a safe. The word today is safe. Okay, Daddy. And I need you to find somewhere else to live, too. I don't want to move, Daddy. Well, I don't want to clean up graffiti and listen to racist white people scream all night. <laughs> Fanny, I need a favor. What you need? Can I borrow your knee pad? My knee pad? For what? Hell, I saw Willie at the Super Bowl, and one thing led to another. <laughs> you want to borrow my knee pad? Yeah, what's the problem? That's like me asking to borrow your diaphragm. Oh, come on, please. Bye, come on. What if we indicted him for eating a burrito? Backwards. Hey, if my sister gets pregnant, will I be an aunt or an Pitch uncle? Pitch 45! Let's indict him for Benghazi! I have evidence that Donald Trump sold a baseball card in 1972 for way too much money. We could have died for that. It's like they pickle everything except cucumbers. What if I paid Donald Trump to be my boyfriend? Pitch 45! Wait, what did you just say? I said that they pickle everything but cucumbers. That's you, you king bat. I was talking to Webster over here. <laughs> Fanny, what did you say? I said I could pay Donald Trump to be my boyfriend. Pitch 45! You know what? I, I think this could actually work. Yeah, it's a great <laughs> idea. That's our golden ticket. Yeah, so 20 years ago, Donald Trump pushed me up against the wall in a Waffle House bathroom. And then he grabbed me by the What you talking about, Willie? Meet me in the bathroom, Willie! <laughs> hey, come on, guys. We gotta, um... We, we gotta find a way to put Trump in prison. I have to say he grabbed me by the Yeah, I, um... I, I, I don't know if anyone would believe What me. if I tell all my fans to say he grabbed all of them by the pussy? That could work. And we're back! All right, Sleepy Joe. It's time for someone to ask you a real question. Hey, it's Donald Reagan! Joe, what have you built? Uh... Nothing? What's back? Uh, 
Nothing. <laughs> What's better? <laughs> Nothing. Squirrel. So why is there a border crisis? Uh, because it's uh, all Trump's fault and we need to give more money to Ukraine. That's right. And why is gas, inflation, and Hunter so high right now? Because uh, it's all Trump's fault. We need to give more money to Ukraine. Good answer, Joe. Hey, is it break time yet? Hey, y'all got any job applications? I'm going to be Trump's vice president. I'm going to be the president, do da, do da. And I would have released all the J6 footage, too. If it wasn't for this pesky State of the Union address, I I'm the first president to lose a primary in 44 years. <laughs> and I've done more in three years than any other president in the universe. <laughs> and the economy is the best it's ever been. It's true, because I say it on TV. Not a joke. Say Lincoln Riley, Joe. Uh, I, I, I don't see that name on my script. Joe, if you say Lincoln Riley, I'll buy you an ice cream. Oh, I I'll do anything for ice cream. <laughs> How do you say her name? Lincoln Riley! Don't you dare say her name, Joe! But, but, but she says she's gonna buy me ice cream! Uh, Joe, stick to the script. I'm not gonna tell you again. Oh, man! I'm never getting no ice cream! F*** off, Joe! Ballet! Fish your fresh ballet! All right, San Francisco! I'm here! Everything's gonna be all right! Hey! <laughs> Arrangement syndrome. The tears are so delicious. I, I mean, so many people I want to thank. <laughs> My wife for keeping me out of prison and Monica for keeping me warm at night. Jeffrey, this one's for you, buddy. We did it. Hey, you! My Jackson, what are you doing here? I was down there looking to see if there was any kids in the wall. Nancy, do you want your Facebook stock money now? No, no, Bush. I'm doing an interview. Sorry. Hey. And the Above the Law Award goes to guy that's higher than gas prices, Hunter Biden. Oh, man, so many people I want to thank. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the big guy for keeping me out of prison and uh, Ukraine for paying me lots of money and uh, my laptop, of course. And uh, last but not least, all those smoking hot hookers. We didn't even do nothing wrong. I know, girl. This is all Trump's fault. Yeah, it did be Trump's fault. Maybe I can pay him to be my boy. You ain't lying, girl. Oh, actually, I am, but what we gonna do now? We're just gonna have to keep trying to send Trump to prison. That's Welcome to America. Come on in and grab as many ballots as you want. Michael Obama ain't gonna be running for president, y'all. Free housing, free health care, free everything. Vote for my husband. If you don't vote for Joe, then you ain't weak. And the winner for the hottest wife in politics. Chuck Schumer! Well, first off, I'd like to thank my smoking hot wife for inciting abortions all over the country. What's the first thing you're gonna do when you get out? I'm gonna launch a full investigation on Donald Trump. Oh, good! I'll fund it! Today was just a practice run for November. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I told people to vote, but it's not like I told them to hit a vote far. <gasps> Did someone say crap? <laughs> um, so many people I want to thank. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank Benghazi, Seth, Victor, Jeffrey, Vince, Mary, John Jr. Um, I, I don't want to leave anyone out there, so there's just so many. As soon as I get out, I'm going to indict Trump for putting me in here. Hey, hey, hey. Me too. I ain't going to eat until I send Trump away for life. I should really be in protective custody. Yeah, it's your fresh hot ballots. Come on, guys. Don't you want four more years of Obama? Get some free housing, free food, free money, and free gas. Take as many ballots as you want. <laughs> They're absolutely free. You don't even need an ID. Come on, guys. Vote for my dad. I don't want to go to prison. Oh, my gosh. I almost died coming up here. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank cow farts, garbage disposals. Hey, stop staring at my big juicy booty. Yeah, I'll accept the charges. Hello? What What up? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah! What's going on here? Yeah! What's going on here? Nothing. Uh, just me and my new boyfriend getting ready to spend uh, food county funds on lavish vacations, magic tattoos, uh, and he gonna help me convict Donald Trump. Uh, hey, hey. Well, carry on! Yeah! Then. Keep up the good work! Yeah! You're doing a great job! Not so fast! <laughs> <laughs> all right, San Francisco, I'm here. Everything's going to be all right. 
So, so, <laughs> tell him you're donating the border wall to rebuild the bridge. You know, since nobody's using the border anymore, I, I thought I'd just donate it to you guys so you can rebuild the bridge. <laughs> Joe, t- tell them about the time when you fell off your bike. <laughs> hey, guys, I, 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 things are going to get better. I, I should know. I mean, I, I fell off my bike once. I know exactly what you guys are going through. Joe, ask Baltimore if they'd like to make a donation to the Ukraine. Hey, since I'm here, would anybody like to make a donation to the Ukraine? Yeah! <laughs> Hi, Baltimore. I'm here to save the day. Tell them that the bridge is racist. You know, if this bridge wasn't racist, maybe the boat would have left it alone. Hey, Pete, tell them that you're married to your husband. Like Michelle! And I just want to let everyone know that I'm married. I was down there looking to see if there was any kids in the water. Oh, man. Michael, you're my hero. Yeah, I'm going to give them out the mouth, you know. Yeah, and then after you're done, I can sniff them. <laughs> Joe, say who? Why is the ground all wet? I'm saying, why is the ground so wet? Why, why, why is it so moist? Joe, tell them about your small kitchen fire. <laughs> so this one time, I, I had a small kitchen fire. So I, I can totally relate to what y'all are going through. <laughs> Joe, tell them how you almost lost your Corvette and your cat. Listen, I, I know what suffering looks like. Hell, I almost lost my Corvette and my cat. Not a joke. So, uh, I, I've been in your shoes. Joe, tell them about the time you put too much water in your bathtub. <laughs> I know what it's like to feel like you're underwater. You know, it's like I, I was taking a bath one time and, and, and the water was all the way up to my neck. I, I thought I was going to die. And, and then I told Ashley to turn off the water. So I, I know what y'all are going through. <laughs> Pete, t- t- tell, him, tell him how you're gonna pack all the holes. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody. While I'm here, I'm gonna pack all the holes. <laughs> hey, Pete, tell him that you're gonna fill all the cracks, too. <laughs> and I'm gonna fill all the cracks, too. Oh, did someone say crack? <laughs> Pete, remind him that everything's okay because you're married to your husband. <laughs> Everything is gonna be fine, okay, guys? I'm married to my husband. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Joe, Joe, t- tell him that being here. Reminds you of the time since you got a paper cut. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, being here at this bridge, it, it, it reminds me of the time I got a paper cut. You know, you think you got a bath. Try getting a paper cut. Then you'll know what a real tragedy feels like. So, so tell them that this place reminds you of the time you almost died on the Titanic. <laughs> and being here reminds me of the time I was floating on the door after the Titanic sank. So I, I, I know what you're going through. Joe, Joe, make this all about you. <laughs> I'm on vacation today. Join myself at the beach, having a great time, just relaxing in the sun, and then I, I get a phone call. And they said, I have to come to Baltimore. First the border, now this. My vacation is ruined. <laughs> Joe, say this is all Trump's fault. <laughs> and if you want the truth, this is all Trump's fault. Well, it's over. Well, what's he talking about? We're going to war. Yes. Wait, wait, what? I gotta say, I could have called this one. I, is it my fault? Of course it's your fault. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, stop blaming yourself. This isn't your fault. <laughs> it's not? No. This is Trump's fault. Well, if that's true, then the 8.5% inflation, high gas prices, my low approval rating, and Hunter's legal problems are all Trump's fault. Yep, it's all Trump's fault. I knew it. Everybody was blaming me, but I knew it was all Trump's fault. Yep, it's always been Trump's fault. Eh, wrong. <laughs> if I was in charge, this wouldn't be going on. It's your fault, Trump. <laughs> Whatever you say, Nancy. <laughs> all right, dipshits, smile. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. All right, Joe, just listen to my voice and repeat after me. Oh, damn it! That voice in my ear is bad! That's just Obama talking to you from his basement! Uh, how's he doing that? Um, you have an earpiece in your ear? Oh, yeah. I, I forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, Joe, just listen to my voice and repeat what I say. Uh, j- j- uh, just listen to my voice and repeat what I say! Joe, we, uh, haven't started yet. Joe, we, we haven't started yet! Joe, stop repeating what I say! Joe, stop repeating what I say! Joe, stop talking! Joe, stop talking! Hey, uh, Nancy, uh, tell Joe to be quiet! Hey, Nancy, tell Joe to be quiet! Joe! Shut up! Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, guys, we go live in three... Two, one. <laughs> you all right, Joe? Yeah, I know. <laughs> See that? <there>, so, <laughs> something, <in my laughs> something in my throat. Well, I hope you don't catch a shooting. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> that just kind of uh, slips out. Ah, 
Smells like burnt alcohol and rotten ice cream. Uh, Joe, read the teleprompter. Uh, purple flurple wing wang. Um, social anecdotes. Uh, pi uh, 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 pickled liver slippy sloppy. Where, uh, where, werewolf ha halitosis. Uh, where, werewolf halitosis. Time to check Joe's engine light. Cut. All right. Uh, give it up. You're under arrest. <laughs> for what? What? I'm dead for what? <laughs> I can't understand you. Take your censorship mask off. I said for what? Um, <laughs> I, I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, you guys know why he's being arrested? Yo, no, no clue. I don't even no. know where I am right now. <laughs> you guys have no clue why you're arresting me? Hey, hey, hey. You're going to jail! For what? Exactly! We don't want people like you in America, Trump! This is ridiculous! Shouldn't you do nothing Democrats be investigating Hunter Biden or Epstein's client list? Don't be stupid! Democrats don't investigate Democrats! Yeah! Why would we investigate ourselves? So, can you guys tell me why I'm being arrested? I don't know, but, um, <laughs> we'll take a subject. Hey, hey, hey! American taxpayers are paying good money to see you arrested for no reason. Well, what if I didn't run for president? Well, I mean, if you don't run for president, I mean, <laughs> there's really no reason for you to be arrested. Right? Not no. at all. So all I got to do is not run for president and you won't arrest me? Hey, hey, hey. That's right. I'm not trying to pressure you or anything, <laughs> but you got a deal? No, no deal. Well, then you're under arrest. Take him away. So let me get this straight. You got a crime wave in New York City. The banking system is collapsing. The border is wide open. But arresting me is your top priority? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is political prosecution. Yeah, well, what are you going to do about it? We finally got you, Trump. For what? You know what? Yep. It's all over, buddy. But I didn't even do anything. Exactly. We have breaking news. Twice impeached, no longer President Donald Trump has been arrested for not being on Epstein's client list. President Clinton. Yeah. Can you tell me what this is? Uh, that's my buddy Jeffrey's client list. <gasps> and can you tell me whose name is missing from this list? Uh, yeah. Donald Trump. <gasps> All right for Judge Mary Guy. Welcome, everyone, to, um, is this impeachment court? Nope. Is this impeachment court number two? Nope. Okay, <laughs> um, is it grab him by the meow court? No. Um, is this E. Jean Carroll court? No. Okay, um, is this Stormy Daniels court? No, no, no! <laughs> hmm, um, is this Russia, Russia, Russia court? No! Okay, um, is this January 6th court? No! Uh -uh. Is this the Mueller investigation report court? No! Wait a minute! Is this the show me your taxes court? No! Is it the we almost got him again court? Uh, no. Well, what court is this? Anyone? Um, it's, uh... <laughs> You know what, um, I, I have no idea what court this is. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Me either. Well, I need to know what court this is. What difference does it make? He's guilty! I know, but <laughs> here it is. It's classified document court. Duh! Hey, I got chocolate chip documents in my garage. <laughs> I got classified documents, too. Me, too. Me, too. <laughs> yeah, I got some, too. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Has the jury reached a decision? Um, yes. <laughs> We the jury find Donald Trump guilty of everything! <laughs> Donald Trump? Yeah? I hereby send you to life in prison! For what? I don't know. <laughs> this ain't got nothing to do with politics. <laughs> Not a joke. Mm, Mr. Pence. Yeah? Can you describe this photo? Oh uh, yeah, that's Donald Trump ripping the tag off a mattress. <gasps> Are you witness him doing this? Yes, I did. <gasps> this wasn't the first time, was it? Nope. No, it wasn't. <gasps> In the four years you spent at the White House, how many mattress tags did twice impeach Donald Trump rip off? Um, uh, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Master Pants. Did you ever try and stop Trump from ripping the tags off? Yeah, but he just told me it's not my concern. <gasps> Master Pants. Can you describe this photo? Oh, uh, yeah. That's Trump leaving the toilet seat up. You son of a bitch! You're gonna fry for this, Trump! Mr. Pence, what other laws did Trump break? 
Well, when he was in Connecticut, Trump tried to sell a pickle that didn't bounce. <gasps> what else? When he was in Georgia, he ate fried chicken without a fork. <gasps> Is that all? Well, there's more. <gasps> when he was in Kansas, he threw a snowball. <gasps> when he was in Maryland, he said a bad word while driving. <gasps> when he was in Massachusetts, he danced to the national anthem. You son of a bitch! I've heard enough! Trump always put himself over the Constitution. <laughs> that, that was good. I mean, we're making good progress, but, um... We gotta keep trying. And Merrick, yeah? explore the spaces. Okay, you got it. I mean, really explore the space. I, I need more indictments. All right, guys. If we put our heads together, we might just come up with. What some... if we indict him for taking a ten million dollar bribe from Burisma? Um, we, we can't. Why not? Because the Bidens already did that. Uh, we should indict him for lying about his business calls with Hunter. The Bidens already did that too. We can indict him for smoking queer. That was Hunter. Hey, hey, hey! We should indict him. For... Guys, guys. These are all good ideas, but I gotta be honest. I need more indictments. Hey, hey, hey. We'll keep trying. Guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more indictments. <laughs> Let's indict him for keeping classified documents in his clothes. And his garage. And in his hair. Let's indict him for lying. Hey, treason. We can't. Why not? not? Because those are all things Joe Biden did. Hey, what if the Republicans indict all of us? <laughs> The Republicans don't do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. I gotta have more indictments. And once I'm a Trump, you'll all be wearing gold plated diapers. Like me. Well, it's indictment day. Uh, again? All right, guys. I'm Nancy Pelosi. Yes, that's Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> and I gotta tell you something. We need to find a new reason to incite Donald Trump. Hey, hey, hey! I can't believe that Nancy Pelosi is here to help. Wow! Her. Yeah! Yo, Nancy Pelosi! Yeah. He's incredible! I can't believe Nancy Pelosi up in here. Yeah, you're a legend. Uh, Easy, guys. Uh, uh. <laughs> I put my diaper on just like the rest of you. One leg at a time. <laughs> Except once my diaper's on, I am peace struck! <laughs> Alright guys, let's come up with a new idea to incite him. <laughs> now get to work! Alright people, you heard it! Let's find a new reason to indict Donald we Trump! We can do it, guys! Shut up, Freddy! That ain't even gonna work! Hey, hey, hey! Everybody knows that 2020 was stolen! Yeah, your indictment is winning! Oh, you don't love it? See what it's sick! Now that's I'll me! I'm making meals in jam! Alright, so you guys are making good progress, but... I could have used a little more indictment. We're trying, Nancy, but it's hard. Yeah, it ain't easy to die, Trump. We ain't Nancy Pelosi. Hey, hey, hey. You didn't even indict him. I know. I sold him. For what? Being rich? Good man. You got room to talk. You oh, indicted oh, him because oh, of a porn star. Hey, hey, hey. That, that was good. I mean, we're making good progress, but um, we, we got to keep trying. And, and Merrick, yeah? explore the spaces. Chuck. Okay, you got it. I mean, really explore the space. I, I need more indictment. All right, guys. If we put our heads together, we might just come up with What some... if we indict him for taking a $10 million bribe from Burisma? Um, we, we can't. Why not? Because the Bidens already did that. Uh, we should indict him for lying about his business calls with Hunter. The Bidens already did that, too. We can indict him for smoking queer. That was Hunter. Hey, 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 We should indict him for... Guys, guys. These are all good ideas, but I gotta be honest. I need more indictments. Hey, hey, hey. We'll keep trying. Guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription... It's more indictments. <laughs> Let's indict him for keeping classified documents in his clothes. And his garage. And in his hair. Let's indict him for lying. Hey, treason. We can't. Why not? not? Because those are all things Joe Biden did. Hey, what if the Republicans indict all of us? <laughs> the Republicans don't do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. Come on, guys. I gotta have more indictments. <laughs> and once I'm a Trump, you'll all be wearing cold plated diapers. Like me. What's up, y'all? My name is Letitia James. The Attorney General of New York. I base my entire platform on getting Donald Trump. And guess what? I finally got him. By ignoring the crime-ridden streets of New York, I was able to focus all my time and energy coming up with a plan to finally get the real criminal. And after four long years of hard work and dedication, I'm proud to announce that I came up with nothing. Nothing but a frivolous lawsuit that I'm most definitely going to lose. You go, girl! But I ain't giving up, y'all. I'm a survivor. I'm a fighter. I don't quit. And I won't rest until I get him. But I need your help. I need you to keep disliking Trump more and more every day. I can't do it without you. Check out my new commercial. Do you hate Trump? Do you want to see me sue him with absolutely zero facts? You want to see me sue him again without even more facts? Want to see me try to bankrupt Trump for absolutely 
absolutely no reason at all? Want to see Trump Paul and living on the streets? Want to see Trump's family Paul and living on the streets? Do you want to see Trump go to prison without any evidence? Want to see me waste more taxpayer money while inflation gets higher? Want to see all the evidence I don't have on Trump? Do you want to watch me ignore the facts and hold Donald Trump accountable for nothing? Then vote for me and I'll continue doing what I've been doing for the last four years. Absolutely nothing. Vote for Letitia James. We gon' get him this time. I can feel it. Oh, goodness gracious. Are you taking my picture? <laughs> oh, good. You can get filter for me. I'm having a bad hair day. Hey, can you tag me on Instagram? Oh. Hey, Butterbutt. Who that? It's Arthur from Online Buddies. Oh. You bring that fried chicken? Of course I did, honey buns. Oh, look at you over there all plump and juicy. Yeah. Looks like you just stepped out of a dating yeah. man. Yeah, you like it, don't you? Oh, yeah. I want to deep fry you in a fucking Arthur sauce and post it on Instagram. Well, it's gonna cost you. This butterball ain't free. I only make 400000 a year. Oh, uh, I feel whatever you want to taste that swamp donkey. Whatever I want. Oh, yeah. I'll do anything you want. Anything? Yeah, I just want to taste that butter and biscuit. Will you throw Trump in jail? Oh, of course I will. You swear? Uh-huh. Now, give me some of that pudding. Oh, yeah. Give me some of that white privilege. Get in that real deep life. Oh, you like that Arthur sauce, don't you? Oh, you gonna put a gag on on me? Ooh, get them bunions. Oh, you wanna see my Carter Pounder? Oh, yeah. Put that big rib in my mouth. Oh, I can smell your filet of fish. Oh, yeah. Rub that barbecue sauce all over my body. Oh, here comes the big flurry. Three hours later, I'm finally gonna get Donald Trump. I got so much dandruff. I based my whole career on this. Hey, Letitia. I ain't answering you, Trump. Hey, Letitia. Nope. Not gonna do it. Hey, Letitia. Uh, what? Fuck you. <laughs> Your Honor, I'd like to present Exhibit A. <laughs> oh, a movie. All right, everybody. Operation Take Down Trump starts now. <laughs> there, I cracked your safe. Can I get paid now? What the hell is this? He's got evidence on every corrupt politician in the country. Welcome back to the People Against Donald Trump. Sponsored by George Soros. <laughs> Joe, what do you think is going to happen today? Well, I, I think a lot of people are going to be uh, for, for, uh, for forgetting about everything that me and Hunter haven't been arrested for. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> Let's go to the courtroom. Your Honor, we the jury find Donald Trump guilty of all charges. Oh, damn it. Y'all ain't supposed to say that until after the show. Sorry, read your scripts, people. Psst. Hey, Stormy, did you get that money I sent you? Highly respected and don't film star Stormy Daniels. Do you swear to read the script, the whole script, and nothing but the script that we provided for you? Uh, Stormy, please don't uh, suck the microphone. Sorry. Yeah, I swear. Uh, as long as I get paid. District Attorney Bragg, call your first witness. <laughs> Hang on. I gotta hide a couple hundred pages of evidence. Guilty! Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to say that again. Proceed! Hey, hey, hey! I called twice impeached, not my president, Donald Trump, to the stand. Mr. Trump! Yeah? Is it true you gave $130,000 to a respectable, trustworthy adult film star? No. No, I didn't. Hey, hey, hey! May I remind you that you are under oath? May I remind you that you and the rest of your Soros-funded goons are gonna be in jail real soon? Bailiff, take Trump to prison! Oh, sorry about that. I ain't supposed to say that yet. Hey, hey, hey! Your Honor, I call highly respected future president Michael Avenetti to the stand. Hello, President Avenetti! Hey, everybody. Hey, Stormy. I miss you. Can you ever forgive me? Wait a minute. You're gonna believe a guy who's serving 14 years for fraud and identity theft over a former president? Hey, there is no one more trustworthy than a convicted felon. Ain't that right, Michael Cohen? It's true. Mr. Trump. Yeah? Are you guilty of the crime you're being indicted for? No, I don't even know what I'm being indicted for. Hey, hey, hey. Neither do I. But I'll think it's something. You going down, Trump. Ain't nothing more important than putting you in jail. What about the crime wave in New York? I don't care about that. I only care about putting you in jail. Hey, hey, hey. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, who are you going to believe? A former president of the United States or a highly respectable, family-friendly porn star? There ain't nobody more credible than a family-friendly porn star. Hey, hey, hey. I rest my case. I find the criminal guilty of all charges. What charges? Whatever charges I say you're guilty of. What? Donald Trump, you're here by sentence to life in prison. I 
I'm Letitia James. You might remember me from being an attorney general or ignoring the crime-ridden streets of New York City so I could waste millions of taxpayer dollars trying to destroy Donald Trump. Well, guess what, y'all? I finally hit the big time. I'm a real estate agent now, bitches. And if you in the market for a really big house that's fully furnished with lots of land and ready to sell today, you in luck. Welcome to mar lago the previous residence of twice impeached, full-time indicted, 91 charges, ex-one-term president, Donald J. Trump. Y'all gotta hurry up, though, because this place gonna sell fast. He gonna win his appeal, but fuck the Eighth Amendment. We gotta sell this bitch in 24 hours. How much for the house? I want a billion dollars, but it's only worth 350 million. Get the fuck out of here. This place got 58 bedrooms. That's enough for my cholesterol. It even got a 100-foot pool. I'm gonna do me a motherfucking cannonball. Back up, bitch. Not to mention, I can plug up 33 toilets up in this motherfucker. We got 12 fireplaces. I like it cold, though. Six tennis courts, a fitness center. If you into that kind of shit, it even got a bomb shelter. In case you want to hide them Twinkies. And a fucking helicopter. I don't know if you got a weight limit, though. And this could all be yours for the low, low price of just $1 billion. At Hood Rat Realty, it ain't about making money. It's about making lots of money and spending taxpayer dollars. That's why my $100,000 a year salary gets me a net worth of $15 million. Do the math and buy this house today. Nancy, yeah. what are we going to do? I'm going to totally freak out. What are you going to do, Nancy? You got us into this. Now get us out of it. Yeah, Nancy, you got to get me out of here. Everybody's staring at my long, slender neck. Bitch, hurry. Fast. This is my fault. Yeah, Nancy, you got to get us out of here. Nancy, you got to get us out of here. Nancy, you got to get us out of here. Nancy, you got to get us out of here. Nancy, you got to get us out of here. I've never been this scared before. Oh, oh, balls, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Michelle's got bigger balls than you, Adam. <laughs> How are we going to arrest you? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna launch a full investigation on Donald Trump. Oh, good! I'll fund it! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! This is all Trump's fault! I uh, know. As soon as I get out, I'm gonna indict Trump for putting me in here. Hey, hey, hey! Me too! I ain't gonna eat until I send Trump away for life! I should really be in protective custody! Hey, girls! Kate Middleton, the one and only! I thought you were dead! What are you doing in here? Oh, you know. Body double stuff. I hear you, girl. All hail the queen. Okay, everyone. It's accept responsibility time. <laughs> Why are you all in prison? Because, because of Trump. Trump. Trump derangement syndrome. The tears are so delicious. Nancy. Yeah. When are you getting us out of here? Yeah, I got to eat that Donald Trump or something. Me too. Relax, guys. It's all taking care of. <laughs> Hello, China. It's Nancy. I'm going to need another favor. <laughs> well, they almost got him. Uh. Again? No! 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 Oh, hey, hey, hey! This is not okay! No! 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 Oh, guys, I, I can't believe this is happening. I shall we had him this time. Does this mean that I'm in trouble? No! No! This is so racist! No! I'm gonna hold my breath until Trump is arrested. Bitch, hold it back! Oh, this can't be true. We worked so hard this time. <laughs> now everybody's gonna wanna take me. Another criminal just gets away with it. Oh man, I'm so mad right now. I can just jump on a plane and fly to MC Island. This is truly the darkest day. In American history. We can't give up. We've got to keep trying. I'm going to stop eating until Trump is arrested. Oh, come on, man. You're just going to let another criminal walk free. I'll never stop trying. I'll never give up. That's it. I'm writing another book. <laughs> this isn't over. We'll get him next time. <laughs> well, Back to the drawing board. <laughs>
We're joined today with bartender scientist AOC. Can I take your order? Huh? Sorry, I always get waitress and congresswoman mixed up. AOC. Um, it's actually pronounced A-O-C. Sorry, A-O-C. Oh my gosh, he like totally knows my name. <laughs> Are you trying to date me? AOC, how do you feel about Trump getting reelected? Well, Rico, I... Uh, it's actually Jake. Excuse me? My name is Jake. You call me Rico. Um, I'm like a scientist. I think I know what your name is. Well, it's Jake, not Rico. Oh, well, you don't have to yell at me. I didn't yell at you. Oh my gosh. I think I just almost died. Help! Police, I'm being attacked by Rico. My name is Jake. Look, we can either sit here and argue about your car's extended warranty, or we can talk about how much makeup I'm wearing. AOC. How do you know my name? What's it like being a congresswoman? Oh, it's awesome. I get paid to say other people's thoughts. What are your paid thoughts on Donald Trump? Well, one time at waitress camp, Donald Trump ordered a trailer park attack. Do you mean a terrorist attack? Hang on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's wrong? Ah, I think I'm having a climate change. Are you okay? Should I call uh, an ambulance? No, it's okay. It was just a photo op. What would you do if you were president? Well, I would find a way to travel to the sun. How would you do that? I would go at night. Duh. Fascinating. What else? I would find out where bread goes after you put it in the toaster. AOC, if you were adopted, would you tell your parents? No, that would totally hurt their feelings. Can you spell orange? The vegetable or the crayon? AOC, yeah? if your electricity went out, how would you watch TV? Well, I'd use a candle. It's a quarter to four. Okay. What time is it? $4.35. Can you define the word economics? Oh my gosh, I'm like a total economist. So I've heard. So, like, economy is all about choices. Should I brush my teeth before breakfast, or should I invent something that's never been AOC. invented? Can you spell AOC? Hmm, that's a tough one. Um, can you use it in a sentence? I just did. Okay, I'm gonna totally have to phone a friend on this one. Um, so does Biden have a chance against Trump? Well, I mean, like, if you put popcorn in the microwave and press potato, it still comes out popcorn. So there's always a chance. What is the hardest thing about being the congresswoman? It would probably, like, have to be all the calls I get about my car's extended warranty. Yeah, I get those a lot. Oh, yeah. And they, like, totally never tell me what crime my car committed. Huh? Why do they keep serving my car with warranties? What? My car is innocent. So what have you been working on? Well, I'm trying to pass a law that will require motorcycles to have seatbelts. And I'm trying to get deers free health care. Deers? Yeah. I'm actually trying to pass a bill right now to get more deer crossing signs put up so deers know where to cross the road safely. I'm sorry. Is that cake frosting on your face? Uh, yeah. I always use cake frosting. Why? Well, cake frosting is good for the environment because when you're done using it, you can eat it. Okay. Um, What are your thoughts on the border? Come on in and vote, guys. Top five answers on the board. We asked 100 Republicans. When Donald Trump gets indicted, what do you do? Kevin? Uh, send out a meaningful tweet and pat myself on the back? Show me. Send out a meaningful tweet and pat myself on the back. All right, Matt. We asked 100 Republicans. When Donald Trump gets indicted, what do you do? Um, I go on a podcast? Show me. Go on a podcast. All right, Mitch. We asked 100 Republicans. When Donald Trump gets indicted, what do you do? Matt. Hi, Mitch. Mitch. Uh, Mitch? Uh, you there, Mitch? Uh, Earth to Mitch. Uh, sorry. I, I was having a stroke. All right, Mitch. We asked 100 Republicans. When Donald Trump gets indicted, what do you do? Uh, nothing. Show me nothing. All right, Marjorie. We asked 100 Republicans. When Donald Trump gets indicted, what do you do? Um, sell t-shirts? Show me sell t-shirts. All right, Ted. We asked 100 Republicans. When Donald Trump gets indicted, what do you do? Uh, I, I don't know. I I guess I'd write a book and sell it for $19.99. Show me write a book and sell it for $19.99. Top eight answers on the board. We asked the entire country, what has Joe Biden done for America? Um, what is garbage disposal? Show me what is garbage disposal. Uh, All right, Joe. What has Joe Biden done for America? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Show me I don't know. All right, Chuck. What has Joe Biden done for America? Uh, nothing. Show me nothing. All right, Liz. What has Joe Biden done for America? It's all Trump's fault. Show me it's all Trump's fault. Uh, Nancy, what has Joe Biden done for America? Well, he's raised gas prices. <laughs> Show me he's raised gas prices. <laughs> Adam, what has Joe Biden done for America? Um, Russia, Russia, Russia. Show me Russia, Russia, Russia. Uh, Welcome back to the World Economic Forum Game Show with your host, the walking meat sleeve, Brian Stetler! Um, hi everyone! Are you ready to play? Yep, my jet is filled and I'm ready to go. Let's look at that!
Wait, what's going on? I want them to shopping. Let's play. As long as nobody has an opinion, I'm ready. Let's begin. Top five answers on the board. We ask the hundred Democrats. If a Republican tells the truth, oh. it's most likely a what? Um, Christopher? Um, hey, my buzz is not working. Did you hear something? Nope. Hey, my microphone ain't working either. Oh. Okay, Christopher. If a Republican tells the truth, hey. it's most likely a what? Well, first off, a Republican shouldn't be allowed to talk, ever. I agree. But until we make it a law, I'm going to go with it's a lie. Show me it's a lie. All right, John. If a Republican tells the truth, it's most likely what? Oh, hang on. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Are you okay? Oh, I don't know. I, I think I'm having a climate change. Oh, no. Oh. Should I call oh. for help? Um, no, it, it was just a photo op. Oh, good. Yeah. All right, John. If a Republican tells the truth, it's most likely what? I'm going to go with misinformation. Show me misinformation. All right, Gretchen. If a Republican tells the truth, it's most likely what? First off, Republicans should be able to speak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with bullshit. Show me bullshit. All right, Christopher. <laughs> if a Republican tells the truth, it's most likely what? 100% fake news. Show me fake news. All right, Klaus. Ooh. If a Republican tells the truth, it's most likely what? It should be illegal for a Republican to talk. Yeah, I, I agree. agree. But I'm going to go with a felony. Show me a felony. All right, Joe. If a Republican tells the truth, it's most likely a what? Uh, inaccurate news information. Show me inaccurate news information. How much money did I win? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to America Last. I'm your host. President Obama. Damn. Hey, my buzz is not working. You hear something, Joe? Nah, I, I didn't hear nothing. My buzz is not working. Top five answers on the board. We asked 100 Democrats. How do you make America great again? Hey, my buzzer isn't working. Show me my buzzer isn't working. Uh, All right, Joe. We asked 100 Democrats. How do you make America great again? Uh, uh, give money to Ukraine. Show me give money to Ukraine. <laughs> All right, Dr. Fauci. We asked 100 uh, Democrats. Uh, sniffing babies. Uh, Joe, it's not your turn. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. All right, Dr. Fauci. We asked 100 Democrats. How do you make America great again? Fear. Show me fear. All right, Mike. We asked 100 Democrats. How do you make America great again? It's not my concern. Uh, show me it's not my concern. All right, Kamala. We asked 100 Democrats. How do you make America great again? <laughs> reduce the population. <laughs> show me reduce the population. All right, Nancy. We asked 100 Democrats. How do you make America great again? Um... <laughs> Uh, 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 drinking. <laughs> lots, lots of drinking. Show me drinking. Lots of drinking. Hey, Hunter, are, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, Dad. Well, well, what's wrong, honey? Did you see the list of rules I have to follow? Yeah, but you're free, sweetheart. Free to do what, Dad? Own a firearm? No. Do drugs? No. Be a stay-at-home son? No. Well, so what? You gotta look for a job. Dad, I'm a stay-at-home pipeline and energy specialist, all right? I don't work. Oh, and who's gonna drug test me, Dad? Well, your mom's a doctor. She's not my mom, Dad. I know, I know. I'm just so miserable, Dad. <laughs> My life is so hard. Yeah, but at least you're free, honey. Yeah, but at what cost, Dad? What cost? Oh, honey, a normal person would have gotten 10 years for what you did. Well, I'm not a normal person, Dad. I'm Hunter Biden. I'm supposed to be above the law. You are above the law, honey. This is just all a distraction. It is? Of course it is, sweetie. You think I let you go to jail? Well, if you let me go to jail, then I just tell everybody you were my business partner. I know. That's, that's why I've been working so hard to keep you out of jail, so, honey. I, I don't have to get a job. No, you don't have to get a oh, job. Good. Can you imagine if I didn't get a real job? Hey, welcome to the Cracker Barrel. Can I help you? Yeah, yeah. I'd like to have a burger and a vanilla ice cream cone. Uh, sorry, bro. The ice cream machine's broken. Oh, uh, well, well, how about some fries and an ice cream then? Uh, sorry. Um, we, we don't have any ice cream. Oh, okay. Uh, how about a chocolate ice cream cone then? Uh, okay, but we don't have any ice cream, dude. All right. Well, how about a vanilla ice cream cone and a soda? Uh, bro, we, we don't have any ice cream. All right, fine. I'll just have some hamburger and, a, and an ice cream then. I'm only good at one thing, Dad. Breaking the law. Yeah, 
You and me both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good at it, too. If I'm not breaking the law, I'm not Hunter. And if I'm not making my ship disappear, I'm not Barack Obama. Hey, I mean, if I'm not lying or plagiarizing, I'm not, um... Uh... Joe, Dad. Yeah, I'm not Joe Dad. All right, Dad. I want to get back to work. Uh, you, you want some help, honey? Dad, you know I don't talk to you about my business dealings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, son, I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Dad. Hey, remember when Zelensky was going to investigate you? Yeah. I can't believe Putin destroyed all the evidence, though. Yeah, he really blew it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hillary, hold my beer. Hey, Hunter, when I'm done here, you, uh, you, you want to go outside and play catch? Catch? Like, catch a case? <laughs> oh, son. You're the smartest person I know. Hey, Dad. Yeah. You want to hear a knock knock joke? Uh, sure. Knock knock. Uh, hang on. There's somebody at the door. Hey, Dad. Yeah. You want to hear something weird? Sure. So I left my laptop behind. Right. Ashley left her diary behind. Oh yeah. And you left America behind. Wow. That is weird. <laughs> hey, Dad. Yeah. Russia just bought another one of my paintings, dude. Oh, that's great news, son. Yeah, and Ukraine and China just called. Uh -huh. and they want to buy another one, too. I'm so proud of you, Hunter. Yeah. It's almost like Russia, Ukraine, and China are the only ones buying my paintings. Yeah, it kind of looks that way, don't it? I can't believe you married my babysitter, Dad. <laughs> yeah, and I, I can't believe that you hooked up with your brother's wife. <laughs> so proud of you. I guess the apple didn't fall too far from the tree. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Remember when you said you were going to withhold aid from Ukraine unless they stopped investigating Burisma? Son of a bitch! I do remember! Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, son. Knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Pardon. Uh, pardon who? Pardon me? <laughs> that was a good one, son! Will you pardon me, Dad? <laughs> of course I will! Hey, Hunter! What's 10% of 3.5 million? It's 350,000, Dad! That's it? Yeah! Well, what if I get 3.5 million and, and you get 10%? But I'm not the big guy! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Knock, knock. Uh, who's there? 10 billion to. Uh, 10 billion to who? 10 billion to Ukraine. <laughs> you ain't lying. Ladies and gentlemen, I called you here today because we found Coke in the White House! <laughs> Whoa. I wonder whose it is. We don't know yet, but the FBI always gets its man. Well, it don't belong to anybody in this room. Huh. We're all law-abiding citizens. It's probably Donald Jr. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold on a second. Was it Diet Coke? <laughs> yeah, because if it's Diet Coke, then that Coke belongs to only one man. Donald Trump! Oh my gosh, I like almost just died! So was it Diet Coke or regular Coke? It's just regular Coke. Well, that's it then. It's Don Jr.'s. I just solved the case. OMG, I like totally knew it was Don Jr. all along. He totally wants to date me. I knew it was him too. Me too. The whistleblower told me. Told me too. He said it was Russian Coke. Bingo. Look, guys, I know Donald Jr. is guilty, too, but I still have to investigate this. Hey! We don't pay you to investigate us! We pay you to investigate not us! Yeah! Uh -huh. We tell you who to investigate! That's right. You work for us! Yeah, and there's really nothing to investigate anyways. The cameras don't even work in the White House! So case closed! It was Donald Jr.! Yeah! Go arrest Donald Trump Jr. I agree. Donald Trump Jr. is a criminal. <laughs> he belong in prison with his father. <laughs> I mean, what kind of guy just leaves his coke in the White House, bro? Uh, it just makes me so angry. Leaving your coke at the White House? That's like leaving your laptop at the repair shop. That's like deleting 33,000 emails. With a hammer. Ah. Yeah, it's like uh, flying on Epstein's private jet 26 times. It's <laughs> like not knowing what pasta and hot dogs mean. It's like not knowing what a garbage disposal is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fuck the way to the top. <laughs> yeah. We don't need people like that on the streets. I know whose coke it is. Uh, hey, Dad, I I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Uh, you want me to tickle your butt crack while you go, honey? So, who left your coke in the White House? <laughs> Please say Don Jr. Please say Don Jr. Please say Don Jr. It was Don Jr. 
in the West Wing with a hundred dollar bill. I knew it! Yay! Justice has been served. I've been weighing my crack, smoking all day, waiting for these hookers to come and do what I say while Peter Peter makes these indictments go away. Sitting here naked while my laptop plays and it's damn shame. What you think they're gonna do? People like me, cause it just isn't true. If you really think they're gonna lock me up, you're a dork. You're a dork. Living in my daddy's world. With full control. I do what I want, and you do what you're told. This gun charge is stupid, but it's all that they'll do. I'll sell some more paintings while I sniff on this glue. Yeah. Living in my daddy's world. Hey, Dad. We're out of Parmesan. Uh, hey, thanks for dressing up, bro. <laughs> you got the crack? All right. I'm not staying here any longer, bro. When Marjorie starts talking, we're out. All right? All right. Man, I need a hit. I said a crack, rock, the hunter to the Biden. I smoke lots of crack and I won't stop smoking because my laptop is leaking, but up jumps my daddy. He's a pedo of America's sea. Now the videos you see are all fake news and crack pipes won't burn your tea. Because Google, the news, and pedo Peter are going to make sure you all don't see that my name's Hunter, man, and I really do like blow. The Ukraine, my gun, the Burisma, man, my paintings and my hose. But first, I got a light, light, the crack into the pipe. I laundered lots of money with the big guy beside me. Is that rock? I won't stop. I break the law, repeat, and then I walk. Now Marjorie can't make me talk, so I need to say goodbye. So ignore all the tweets and don't forget to vote for the big guy. Let's go. Uh, all right, guys, I, I, I called you here today because you're the best at what you do. General Milley, you, you've never been to war, but you got more medals than any general in American history. Thank you. Uh, Pete, you're a professional chest feeder. Thank you. Uh, Kareem, you, you never give a straight answer. Oh, my gosh, did you see the Super Bowl halftime show? Uh, 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 general Levine, you're, you're, you're an expert in UFOs. Quite frankly, nobody's seen you and Mitch McConnell in the same room. I'm an expert. Uh, Hunter, you're an oil and pipeline specialist. And you're the smartest person I know. Thanks, Dad. All right, look, people, here's the deal. Um, My boy Hunter's in trouble, so <laughs> we need a new distraction. Did the pipeline thing work? Uh, not really. <laughs> what about the balloons I never saw? Did that work? Nope. I don't know. Come on, guys. I mean, we need a new distraction that'll make everybody forget all about Hunter. We could release the aliens and move to space. Good idea. I'm due for a prostate exam anyway. <laughs> Lucky! All right, guys, I got a great idea. What is it, Dad? What if we release the aliens and move to space? Wow, that's a great idea. Yeah, I came up with it all by myself. What the f***? You're the greatest president ever, Dad. You know, I've always wondered what it'd be like to live in space. <laughs> Meet Joe Biden, his boy Hunter, daughter Ashley. <laughs> Kill his wife. Hey, Jill! I'll be there in a second, Joe. I gotta put my mask. I, I, I mean, my makeup on. What is it, Joe? Hey, uh, where are we? Is this space? Yes, Joe. For the hundredth time, we live in space now. Oh, yeah. I, I, I forgot. Hey, fake mom. What's up with dad? Ever since his alien probe, he just hasn't been the same. Well, he still gets 10% though, right? Duh! Oh, good. Dad, I'm gonna go shower now. All right. I, I'll be there in a minute. Hey, honey. What are you doing? Uh, just weighing some crack. So much lighter in space. <laughs> oh, Hunter, you're the smartest person I know. Bye, Dad! Uh, uh, yes, your holiness? Where's my money? Uh, it's coming, mate. I, I promise, all right? Hurry up, Joel! Yeah, uh, yes, sir? I need the lunch call. Oh, yes, sir. Right right away. my money! Yes, sir. I'll get it for Hurry you. Hurry up! All right. I need more money, Joe! Where's my money, Joe? This isn't enough money! I need more money! Yeah. Dad, my God! Yeah. <laughs> Space is going to be cool.
Joining us today is American hero Chuck Schumer. Hello, Chuck. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Chuck? You know what I like, baby. Chuck, we're live. Oh, oh, oh sorry about that. <laughs> you caught me. I was watching my wife's new Instagram video. Can I just say that your wife is gorgeous? Oh, yeah. I hear it all the time. I, I wish I looked like her. She is stunning. It's not easy being married to a supermodel. Everybody wants my wife, but you can't have her. She's all mine. How did you two meet? Well, it's kind of a funny story, actually. Uh -huh. I was accidentally looking at the Victoria's Secret catalog one day, and I saw her picture, and I just knew that I had to draw her. Your wife was a Victoria's Secret angel? I don't like to brag, but yes. Wow, what's her secret? Uh, she doesn't have one. I mean, it's all natural beauty. She doesn't even use makeup or filters or nothing. You're a lucky man. Yeah, so is she. So what's going on with the border? Well, we're not going to close it until we have enough people to help us win the 2024 election. And how many more people do you need? A lot. So we're going to let in 5,000 law-abiding citizens a day to help flatten the curve on election interference. Now, do these law-abiding citizens know who to vote for? No, they have no idea who to vote for, but we tell them who to vote for as soon as they cross over the border. Then we set them up with a credit card, food, and a free hotel. Wow! It's a good thing the economy is doing so well or we wouldn't be able to do this for them! Yeah, the economy is the best it's ever been. Joe Biden has done more for Ukraine in two years than any president in American history. So what happens if the border closes? Well, we'd lose the election, and your small children would have to go to war. Will you go to war too, Chuck? I would, but I'm just so darn busy saving America, I, I wouldn't be able to find the time. Plus, who's going to take care of my smoking hot wife? You make a great point. We got to stop that interview. I uh, know. He's going to tell him everything. All right, Adam, here's the plan. Okay. You offer Tucker a can of zin. Okay, but... What if Tucker doesn't take the can of Zin? Uh, Tucker can never resist a can of Zin. <laughs> okay. Once the can of Zin is in Tucker's hand, poof, he's gone. Where does he go? Uh, he's going to go hang out with 56 of Hillary's friends. Okay, and if I do this, you guys forget about the Standard Hotel, right? What happened at the Standard Hotel? See, Adam? It's already working. Now get to work! Two hours later. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, Adam? Why are you at the Standard Hotel? Um... Uh, Adam, did you take care of Tucker? Um... Oops, I did it again? Adam, did you do the pasta and hot dogs thing again? Well... You blew it, Adam! It's all Trump's fault! What are we gonna do now? Well, guess I'm just gonna have to handle this myself. Two hours later. Uh, Mr. Putin, are you ready? Yes, but hold on, I gotta grab a zin. <laughs> You zin? <laughs> yeah, I zin. Do you zin? Oh, yeah. I zin all the time. Did we just become best friends? <laughs> yeah. You want to go do kung fu in the Kremlin? Oh, hell yeah. Wait, are you zinning right now? Yeah, I'm totally zinning. Are, are you zinning? Oh, shit. What's wrong? I'm out of zin. Oh, no. Can I bump some zin from you? Oh, no. I, I don't share zin. Sorry. You don't share zin? Nope. Hi, Tucker. Oh, fuck. Only I didn't say fuck. I said... Holy fuck! Surprise! Bill Clinton, the one and only. Say goodbye, Tucker! Hey, Hillary, keep it down! Me and Monica are trying to sleep! <laughs> oh, damn it! It was just a dream! Two hours later. Is Obama guilty? Yes. Uh-oh. Did Biden cheat? Yes. Oh, come on, man! Is Michelle, um... Oh, yeah. Oh, hell no! Is Adam Schiff a liar? Yep. Oops. Is Nancy Pelosi laundering money? Yes. That son of a bitch! Does Fauci belong in prison? Yes. Uh-oh! Does Chuck Schumer belong in prison? Yes. Gosh damn it, Putin! Is Hunter guilty? Yes. Uh, is Zelensky laundering money? Yes. Joe! Is Soros corrupt? Yes. Uh-oh. Is Klaus Schwab a criminal? Yes. Oops! Is McConnell a rhino? Yes. Did Hillary spy? Yes. <laughs> Welcome back to the pool, a uh, talk show where we can say whatever we want. <sighs> Please squeeze your thoughts together for the woman who should have been present, <sighs> Mrs. <sighs> Almost <sighs> President Clinton. It's all Trump's fault. <laughs> so here we go. Yeah. What would happen if Trump was reelected? Oh, don't even say that or it'll come true. Okay, I just farted. Can anybody smell it? Uh, so, uh, what would happen if Trump did get reelected? Well, it would be the end of the world as we know it. You mean we wouldn't have high gas prices anymore? No. Nope. Uh, would inflation be 
No. Unfortunately, yes. Okay. Yeah, so you're trying to tell me that if Trump is reelected, corrupt political criminals will be locked up and the fake news will be fired? Yep. That's what he's going to do. Okay. So if Trump is reelected, families could actually afford rent and food? That's exactly what would happen. Okay, this is weird. I farted like five times and nobody can smell it. Somebody pull my finger. So then it's settled. We can't let Trump get real wicked. Mm -hmm. okay. Trump gets real wicked. Mm -hmm. America, we know where we go. It's going hard. Seriously, mm -hmm. I hope you don't get nobody get real wicked. Oh, well, trust me, I'm with you, a president. Uh -huh. You almost won. Uh -huh. I don't even want to the election. I'm starting to go fund me for Vincent, Seth, and Jeffrey. You go, girl. Whoa. How generous of you. Mm -hmm. I know, right? And I promise none of the money is going to go into the Clinton Foundation at all. You go, girl. I love watching white people using their privilege. Mm -hmm. And I'm also starting a college fund for all the families in Benghazi. <laughs> Every family is going to get a laptop. <sighs> That's the nicest thing I've ever heard of. You wouldn't see Trump doing something. Like that. Well, what can I say? That's what a real president is supposed to do. I should know, because I am the president. Wait a minute. You're the president? Yep. I'm the president. <laughs> but I thought you hated election denial. Oh, I do. But it's not denying an election if you won. <sighs> I ain't never thought about it like that. And that's our show. Tune in next week when we blame Trump for everything. I feel a great disturbance in the Congress. Sorry, <laughs> I, I just farted. No, we have a new candidate for president. Oh, um, are you talking about me? No, I'm talking about Featherman. Seriously? Yes, I had no doubt that Featherman is the offspring of Joe Biden. <laughs> How is this possible? Search your feelings, House Drinker. You'll know it to be true. Well, it does make sense. <laughs> Sing young Fetterman to get trained by the master. Aye, aye, skipper. <laughs> like, totally vote for John. He's a big dumb dope. Hey, John. Ah. Well, he wants you to run for president. Like that big. This is a great idea, but I'm going to pretend to be upset. With it. But if you truly funny. want to be dumb, Do you got to learn how to control this? your dumb. Welcome to Burger King. Hello. You want lasagna? I'm mad as hell. Me I'm too. Get to the bottom uh, of this. John, I need you to go see the master. Uh, sloppy, Whatever. sloppy, whippy, whippy. I'm going to get to the bottom Good luck, of my this. Good my old friend. Uh, <laughs> can you feel it? The sum is strong with this one. Um, how do you know? I can feel it. <laughs> the gum might be strong, but can he lie? I'm not sure. Do you want me to train him? Adam, no one can lie like you. But there is one person. Who? The master. <laughs> hey, good luck, John. The purple is the same color as the number three. Make us proud, buddy. Suey, doey, slashy, squishy, fart wobble. <laughs> uh, he's going to make a great president. Campaign money buys lots of butter. Poo, poo. Traitor, say what? 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 I'm mad as hell, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, me too. Wink, wink. So did John leave yet? Yep. John's on his way to see the master right now. Perfect. What's going on, Nancy? Um, nothing. <laughs> what is it? Tell me. Nothing. It's just, um... John's gonna be president. Uh, really? Uh, here we go. <laughs> what, what is it, Hillary? Well, I, I just thought that, you know, I... What? What, what did you think? Well, I just thought that... Just what? <laughs> I, I just thought that... What? You can be president? Well, yes, I think I've heard it. Well, it's never gonna happen, okay? So stop asking me. This is so unfair! Hillary, life isn't fair. <laughs> hey, hey, are, are, are you the whiz kid? Hello, goodbye! Hi. You're a natural at this. I can count to banana. I need you to repeat after me. I feel pee on my knee. Poor kids are just as smart as white kids. They said to make fights like 20. If you don't vote for John, then you ain't black. Duh, you say I like to find and pull my pants. What? 
the dumbest oh, thing with you. Oh, no. Yeah, you're ready. Let's poop together. Um, so did we, like, solve the crime yet? Uh, what crime are you talking about? Yeah, there's a lot of crime the going on. The most recent crime. <laughs> Duh. We're not supposed to solve the crimes, Alexandria. We're not? No. no. We're just supposed to commit the crimes, and then we investigate ourselves. Yeah. Oh, so that's how it works. Yeah. I knew I was smart. Hey, I need some protein. I go pee now? Hey, wait. You got to finish your training. I go poopy all by myself. Uh, looks like his training is complete. Good job, Joe. Yeah. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> John is ready. I can smell it. We finally got you, Trump! For what? You know what? Yep, yeah, it's all over, buddy. But I didn't even do anything! Exactly! We have breaking news. Twice impeached, no longer President Donald Trump has been arrested for not being on Epstein's client list. We have a developing story. Not my president, Donald Trump, has been arrested for not being on the client list. America is now safe from this monster. President Clinton. Yeah? Can you tell me what this is? Uh, that's my buddy Jeffrey's client list. <gasps> and can you tell me whose name is missing from this list? Uh, yeah. Donald Trump. <gasps> President Clinton. Uh, yeah? Did you ever see Donald Trump at Epstein Island? Nope. Not once. <gasps> you son of a bitch! You gonna fry for this, Trump! We have breaking news! Twice impeached no longer President Trump has been found guilty of not being on Epstein's client list. The DA is pushing for the death penalty. And in other news, all the people on the client list are doing pretty good- Jeez. These stupid Republicans can't even peacefully transfer power to themselves. <laughs> so you married your brother, huh? Yes. What's that like? It's awesome. Matt, are you going to vote for me? No. Please? No. You're a big, fat, poopy head. Mike, Matt called me a big, fat, poopy head. You son of a bitch, you take that back. Mike, stop or your two is going to fall off. Apologize to Kevin, Matt. No. He's a big, fat, poopy head. Ah! Lies over lies. Bullshit over bullshit. More bullshit over more bullshit. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm an American Idol. Is Ryan Seacrest here yet? Don't you give up, Timmy. You got this. Nancy, it's me, Kevin. <laughs> you're, you're crazy, Timmy. <laughs> I, I, I like you, but um, <laughs> you're, you're, you're crazy. Is Ryan Seacrest here yet? Ew, get away from me. <laughs> oh my gosh, can you please stop trying to date me? Are you going to vote for me, Jim? Nah, bro. Please? Nah, man, you're a big fat fart face, dude. No, you're a big fat fart face. Maxine, Jim's not voting for me either. Aw, oh, you motherfuckers. Y'all best be voting for Kevin. Well, I'm putting cases on all you bitches. Uh, can you guys keep it down? <laughs> Trying to work on my skit up here. Ew, it totally smells like Chinese food in here. Sorry. Wait. Gotta, like, totally shut down, like, all the mainstream media news companies, like the Babylon Bee and the Onion and Mad Magazine. America deserves to know the truth, okay? I got my GED. Where's my gun? This is like the weirdest American Idol ever. Nobody's even singing. All right, Kevin, I'll vote for you. You will? Yeah, but you got to give me all your Pokemon cards. My Pokemon cards? Yeah. No way, dude. I'm not giving you my Pokemon cards. Well, then I'm not voting for you. Oh, oh my gosh. Is that like totally Simon Cowell? Simon, what's up, dog? Oh, adult diapers was a good choice. You want me to call Trump? Huh? You want me to call him? Because I'll do it. I got his number. Do you got his number? No, no, you don't have his number. But I do. Ah! Yeah, that's what I thought. And, and, and don't forget to give me those stock tips if you win, Trevor. I won't. Uh, I'm going to be the next Obama. <laughs> All right, dude, I'll vote for you. You will? Yeah, but you got to give me your Lunchables. <laughs> My Lunchables? Yeah, for a whole year. A whole year? Yeah, and your snack pack too, dude. Oh, dude, not my snack pack. Do you want to be house speaker or not? Oh, uh, fine. Say thank you, Trump. Uh, Say it. Thank you, Trump. I got his cell phone number. Hypothetical question. Okay. What, what, what would you do if you walked in and saw your husband in his underwear with another guy holding a hammer? Uh. Every time I come home, you home. Why? Because I be living here, Daddy. Well, you ain't going to be living here much longer with all them races out front screaming and spray painting my garage. Okay, Daddy, I'll move out there. Fanny, there's two things you need in life. Six months of cash and a safe. Oh, Daddy, I remember that. Hey, hey, hey. 
Is Trump in prison yet? Uh, not yet. Well, keep trying. You know this, man. Hey, I ain't trying to sound racist or whatever, but why is there a white person in this movie? Because a white person is funding this movie. <laughs> hey, Fanny! What's up? Your male prostitute is here? Hi! What the hell are you doing, girl? Excuse me? Get your ass back in the kitchen and make me a sandwich. Oh, no, 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 no. You didn't say that. What What'd you just say to me? I said go make me a sandwich and then clean my back. Excuse me? You heard me? Now hurry up. That sandwich ain't gonna make itself. Listen here, all right? I pay you, okay? You go in the kitchen and make me a sandwich. Okay. Hey, you didn't tell my daddy about what happened, did you? Hell no. Nah. I wouldn't do that to my sister. Oh, good. Hey, Fanny! Yeah, Daddy? Hey, come here. I want to talk to you. All right, I'll be there in a minute. What's up, Daddy? What you doing? I'm dropping a dude. Hey, that's my boyfriend's name. Hey, Letitia told me what happened. She did? How are you going to hire somebody to be your boyfriend? I thought you was dating a disc jockey or some sort. I is, Daddy. But I like Nathan Wade, too. Look, I ain't trying to be racist, all right? But black people just don't be doing this kind of stuff. And Fanny? Yeah, Daddy? Your shirt's on backwards. Hey, hey, hey! Is Trump in prison yet? Nah, not yet. Well, keep trying. All right, I will. You figure out how to put Trump in prison yet? Nah. What about you? Nope. I ain't got nothing, girl. Yeah, we need to figure out something fast, and we gonna be in prison. I hear you. Fanny, I need you to get up today and go look for a safe. The word today is safe. Okay, Daddy. And I need you to find somewhere else to live, too. I don't want to move, Daddy. Well, I don't want to clean up graffiti and listen to racist white people scream all night. What's up? <laughs> Fanny, I need a favor. What you need? Can I borrow your knee pad? My knee pad? For what? Well, I saw Willie at the Super Bowl, and one thing led to another. You want to <laughs> borrow my knee pad? Yeah, what's the problem? That's like me asking to borrow your diaphragm. Oh, come on, please. Bye, come on. <laughs> uh, come on, guys. We need to come up with a way to convict Donald Trump. Stop screwing around and get back to work. What's wrong, Fanny? Daddy, I don't think I'm going to win this. Oh, I knew that two years ago. You did? How come you didn't tell me? Look, I ain't trying to be racist. Well, sometimes in life, you win some and you lose some. But you lie. You lie to get paid another day. You right, Daddy. Now get out there and lie like you never lied before. Okay, Daddy. And baby. Yeah, Daddy? Your shirt's on backwards again. Hey, Fanny. What's up? Thanks for taking the attention off me. Uh, oh, no. This whole thing is backfiring on us. What are we going to do? I don't know, but we got to think of something fast. And Trump's going to get away with it. Jussie, you got any ideas? Yes, I do. Well, what is it? You see that smoking hot girl over there? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go talk to her. Let's go shopping. Ah. That's our golden ticket. Yeah, so 20 years ago, Donald Trump put me up against the wall in a Waffle House bathroom. And then he grabbed me by the pussy. What you talking about, Willis? Welcome back to the pool. Today we're going to be talking about... Trump and his bloodbath. I just don't know what to say. And you know he was talking about people of color. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even breathe after he said that. And I lost my appetite too. What the? Whoopi, you were in the hospital over there. <sighs> yeah. I almost didn't make it. I was sitting there watching that racist Trump give his speech. And when he said bloodbath, I passed out and woke up in the hospital. <sighs> Luckily, Dr. Jill Biden was there to save my life. You're gonna make it, woman! <sighs> Thank you, Dr. Jill Biden. You're such an amazing surgeon. Well, I'm glad you're still alive, Whoopi. But there was a lot of victims of Trump's recent attack that weren't so lucky. What the heck? After he said bloodbath, I, like, almost died. Oh, hey, I can't do this. He, he said what? Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Wow. I... Wow. And this is exactly why I didn't endorse Trump. Because I knew about his plans for the bloodbath. 40 years ago, Trump threw me in a bloodbath! I won a billion dollars this time! <laughs> I don't care! I don't care either! Puff! Puff! This is unacceptable! You, you don't say bloodbath in my country, Trump! Trump. Trump. You deserve to be in prison! <laughs> Sue him for this. Somebody get Michael Avenetti on the phone. Hey, hey, hey! 
It's another indictment day. You going down for this? You going down, Trump? The guy. <laughs> Lock him up. <laughs> 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 You have no idea what my life is like after hearing Trump say bloodbath. My counselor says I'm unfixable. Trump say bloodbath ruined my career. This is too easy. Too easy. <laughs> this is truly the darkest day in American history. I'm launching a full taxpayer funded investigation on this bloodbath massacre that Trump is planning. He needs to be in prison for this. I'm like slowly putting the pieces of my life back together. Trump's bloodbath, it's changed me. Remember when he told everybody to be peaceful? Yeah, we knew what peaceful meant and we know what bloodbath means. You're going down, Trump. Well, it's indictment day. Uh, again? We finally got you, Trump. Yeah, <laughs> it's all over, pal. Yeah, you're going down, Mr. Poopy Pants. Yeah, <laughs> I brushed my teeth with barbecue sauce this morning. Uh, can you smell it? <sighs> Shut up, Joe. All right, are we seriously doing this again? Yep, we're seriously doing this again. You're finished, Trump. Why didn't you guys do this witch on two and a half years ago? Well, because you weren't running for president. <laughs> Joe, shut up! Sorry. Why is it that every time the Biden crime family gets exposed, I get indicted? Because that's how cover-ups work. Duh! James Coma reveals the Biden family payments and poof! <laughs> I get indicted. Ah, that was just a coincidence! The grand old potty views Biden family bribes and poof! <laughs> I'm indicted again. Well, stop breaking the law, asshole! Hunter's sweetheart plea deal falls apart and poof! Jack in the box over here adds more charges. We got you this time, Trump. Yeah, we got you. <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, as soon as Devin Archer testifies, I get indicted once more. Well, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Are you guys ever going to stop this? Sure. As soon as you stop running for president. <laughs> so that's what this is all about? Me running for president? Yep. <laughs> and if I stop running for president, you'll stop indicting me? You're not as stupid as you look, Trump. <laughs> so all I gotta do is stop and this all goes away. Yep, it all gets erased. So are you gonna give up, Trump? Yeah, Trump, are you gonna give up or what? <laughs> not a chance. Trump, if you realize that if you don't quit, <laughs> we're just gonna keep coming for you. I'm actually looking forward to that the most. Come on, Trump, can you just give up? Pretty yeah, please, Trump, give up, Trump, Trump, please. Come on, yeah, come on please. Trump, pretty come please. Come on, please. I don't think so. The way I see it, all I need is one more indictment to ensure my election. <laughs> All right, guys, we called you here today because we need to come up with a new way to indict Donald Trump. Any ideas? Yeah, I got one. Well, let's hear it, Hillary. <laughs> what if we indict him for Russia, Russia, Russia? We already did that. Yeah, and it didn't work. What if we invite him to a party? AOC, we're not inviting him. We're in You know what? Never mind. Well, we better do something soon or I'm going to leave New York and move to America. Hey, hey, hey. What if we indict him for Stormy Daniels? We did that already. Well, can we do it again? No, we can't do it again. Come on, guys. We need some fresh ideas. Well, well, what if I indicted him for smoking crack on a laptop? We're talking about Trump, Joe, not Hunter. I could keep running for president. That might help. Or oh, maybe I could run for president, and then Barack could be my first lady. Can we indict him for going to Epstein's Island 26 times? No, we can't do that. Why? Because we tried to indict Trump, not your husband. Page 45! Come on, guys. We gotta get serious. Me and Truck can't do this by ourselves. My name's Chuck, Nancy. What? You called me Truck. My name's Chuck. I know what your name is. You like to be so rude. I'm not being rude. I just don't like being called Truck, that's uh, all. Change the record, all right? Chuck, Chuck, what's the difference? What, what, what if we indicted him for eating a burrito? Backwards. Hey, if my sister uh, gets pregnant, will I be an aunt or an uncle? Let's indict him for Benghazi! I have evidence that Donald Trump sold a baseball card in 1972 for way too much money. We can indict him for that. It's like they pickle everything except cucumbers. What if I paid Donald Trump to be my boss lead? Pitch 45! Yes. What did you just say? I said that they pickle everything but cucumbers. That's you, you ding bat. I was talking to Webster over here. <laughs> Fanny, what did you say? I said I could pay Donald Trump to be my boss man. Page 45! You know what? I, I think this could actually work. Yeah, it's a great <laughs> idea. Chuck, what do you think? Well, I mean, I think if we're going to do this, we should use my wife instead of Fanny. I agree. <laughs> Your wife is freaking gorgeous. I know, I know. She's my little supermodel. You know, um, I think we should do this. Yeah. Done! How come Donald Jr. got an envelope with white powder in it and I did it? I'm sorry.
sorry, honey. I want an envelope with white powder in it now. Hey, you. Who, me? Yeah, you. Are, are you a special prosecutor? Um. Did you hear what I said? I said, are you a special prosecutor? I asked you if you were the special prosecutor. Um. Are you a what? Yeah. Yeah, I am. You won't get paid to be my boyfriend? Hello? Anybody there? I said you won't get paid to be my boyfriend. Can we go on lavish vacations? Yeah, you want to do it? Hello? Hey! It's a simple question. Will you accept money to be my boyfriend? Yeah, I'll be your boyfriend. But you got to pay me in Fulton County funds to pay for our lavish vacation. Oh, this is going to be great, homie. We're going to go on lavish vacations, spend lots of money, get matching tattoos, and get picked out of truck. And ain't nobody going to know about it. Good life! Hey, hey, hey! What's going on here? Yeah! What's going on here? Yeah! What's going on here? Nothing. Uh, Just me and my new boyfriend getting ready to spend uh, Fulton County funds on lavish vacations. Magic tattoos, uh, and he gonna help me convict Donald Trump. Uh, hey, hey, well, carry on. Yeah, then. keep up the good work. Yeah, you're doing a great job. Not so fast. <laughs> Nancy, yeah. what are we going to do? Totally I'm going to totally freak out. What are we going to do, Nancy? You got us into this. Now get us out of it. Yeah, Nancy, you got to get me out of here. Everybody's staring at my long, slender neck. Hey, this isn't my fault. It's, it's not. not. This is Trump's fault. <laughs> what are we going to do? Yeah. I've never been this scared before. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah, Michelle's got bigger balls than you, Adam. <laughs> How are we going to arrest Trump now? <laughs> a full investigation on Donald Trump. Oh, good. I'll fund it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. This is all Trump's fault. I uh, know. As soon as I get out, I'm going to indict Trump for putting me in here. Hey, hey, hey. Me too. I ain't going to eat until I send Trump away for life. I should really be in protective custody. Hey, girls. Hey, Middleton, the one and only. I thought you were dead. What are you doing in here? Oh, you know. Body double stuff. I hear you, girl. All hail the queen. Okay, everyone. It's accept responsibility time. <laughs> Why are you all in prison? Because, because of Trump. Trump. Trump derangement syndrome. The tears are so delicious. Nancy. Yeah. When are you getting us out of here? Yeah, I got to indict Donald Trump or something. Me too. Relax, guys. It's all taking care of. <laughs> Hello, China. It's Nancy. I'm going to need another favor. <laughs> All rise for Judge Mary Guy. Welcome, everyone, to, um, is this impeachment court? Nope. Is this impeachment court number two? Nope. <laughs> okay, um, is it grab them by the meow court? No. Um, is this E. Jean Carroll court? No. Okay, um, is this Stormy Daniels court? No, no, no. <laughs> hmm, um, is this Russia, Russia, Russia court? No. Okay, um. Is this January 6th court? No. Uh, is this the Mueller investigation report court? No. Wait a minute. Is this the show me your taxes court? No. Is it the we almost got him again court? Uh, no. Well, what court is this? Anyone? Um, it's, uh, <laughs> you know what? Um, I, I have no idea what court this is. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Me either. Well, I need to know what court this is. What difference does it make? He's guilty! I know, but oh, <laughs> here it is. It's classified document court. Duh! Hey, I got chocolate chip documents in my garage. <laughs> I got classified documents, too. Me, too. Me, too. Yeah, yeah I got some, too. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Has the jury reached a decision? Um, yes. <laughs> we, the jury, find Donald Trump guilty of everything! <laughs> Donald Trump? Yeah? I hereby send you to life in prison. For what? I don't know. <laughs> this ain't got nothing to do with politics. <laughs> Not a joke. Nancy. 
Yeah. What are we gonna do? Baby, I'm gonna totally freak yeah. out. What, what are you gonna do, Nancy? You gotta send her this. Now get us out of it. Yeah, Nancy, you gotta get me out of here. Everybody's staring at my long, slender neck. Me too. This isn't my fault. It's, it's not. This is Trump's fault. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Yeah. I've never been this scared before. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah, Michelle's got bigger balls than you, Adam. How are we gonna arrest Trump now? Don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to launch a full investigation on Donald Trump. Oh, good. I'll fund it. Hey, hey, hey. This is all Trump's fault. I uh, know. As soon as I get out, I'm going to indict Trump for putting me in here. Hey, hey, hey. Me too. I ain't going to eat until I send Trump away for life. I should really be in protective custody. Hey, girls. Hey, Middleton. The one and only. I thought you were dead. What are you doing in here? Oh, you know. Body double stuff. I hear you, girl. All hail the queen. Okay, everyone. It's accept responsibility time. <sighs> Why are you all in prison? Because, because of Trump. Trump. Trump derangement syndrome. The tears are so delicious. Nancy. Yeah. When do you get this out of here? Yeah, I got to eat that Donald Trump or something. Me too. Relax, guys. It's all taking care of. <laughs> Hello, China. It's Nancy. I'm going to need another favor. <laughs>
I wouldn't do that to my sister. I'm oh, good. Hey, say that. Yeah, daddy. Hey, come here. I want to talk to you. All right, I'll be there in a minute. What's up, daddy? What you doing? I'm dropping a dude. Hey, that's my boyfriend's name. Hey, Letitia told me what happened. She did? How are you going to hire somebody to be your boyfriend? I thought you was dating a disc jockey or some sort. I is, daddy. But I like Nathan Wade, too. Look, I ain't trying to be racist, all right? But black people just don't be doing this kind of stuff. And Fanny? Yeah, daddy? Your shirt's on back. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on here? Yeah. What's going on here? Yeah. What's going on here? Nothing. Oh. Just me and my new boyfriend getting ready to spend oh. food, county funds on lavish vacations, magic tattoos, oh. and he gonna help me convict out of truth. Great vacation, Fanny. <laughs> yeah, I never talked about my son's business dealing, so. What they want, baby? None of your business. I ain't on trial. Golly. Now hurry up and take my diamonds so we can get out of here. Is Trump in prison yet? Nah, not yet. Well, keep trying. All right, I will. You figure out how to put Trump in prison yet? Nah. What about you? Nope. I ain't got nothing, girl. Yeah, we need to figure out something fast or we gonna be in prison. I hear you. Fanny, I need you to get up today and go look for a safe. The word today is safe. Okay, Daddy. And I need you to find somewhere else to live, too. I don't want to move, Daddy. Well, I don't want to clean up graffiti and listen to racist white people scream all night. What's up? <laughs> Fanny, I need a favor. What you need? Can I borrow your knee pad? My knee pad? For what? Hell, I saw Willie at the Super Bowl and... One thing led to another. You want to buy my knee pads? Yeah, what's the problem? That's not me asking to buy your diaphragm. Oh, come on, please. Bye, come on. <laughs> uh, come on, guys. We need to come up with a way to convict Donald Trump. Stop screwing around and get back to work. What's wrong, Fanny? Daddy, I don't think I'm going to win this. Oh, I knew that two years ago. You did? How come you didn't tell me? Look, I ain't trying to be racist. But sometimes in life, you win some and you lose some. But you lie. You lie to get paid another day. You right, Daddy. Now get out there and lie like you never lied before. Okay, Daddy. And baby. Yeah, Daddy? Your shirt's on backwards again. Hey, Fanny. What's up? Thanks for taking the attention off me. Oh, no. This whole thing is backfiring on us. What are we going to do? I don't know, but we got to think of something fast. And Trump's going to get away with it. Jesse, you got any ideas? Yes, I do. Well, what is it? You see that smoking hot girl over there? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go talk to her. Let's go shopping. Ah, that's our golden ticket. Yeah, so 20 years ago, Donald Trump pushed me up against a wall in a Waffle House bathroom. And then he grabbed me by the pussy. What you talking about, Willis? Potato. Uh, 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 my first term as senator is cut, been amazing. Cut, cut, what, cut. What, 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 what? Joe, read the teleprompter. Uh, my first term is potato. My first term is peanut butter. My first term is Bill Clinton. My first term is Aragon. Cut, we'll just edit it in. I worked hard at making this country Obama again. The people love me. These mega people want to make America great again. And I just won't stand for that. I want nothing but the worst for this country. And I've been working hard at it. I raised gas prices, food prices. Hell, I even created record-breaking inflation. I left the border wide open. <laughs> I made Americans rely on the government again. People are homeless because of me. I signed 112 executive orders. I gave almost all of America's money to Ukraine. And I did all of this while blaming everything on Donald Trump. And that's why, effective immediately, I will be running for re-election. That's why I'm running for re-election. End quote. Repeat the line. You heard me. I'm running again. Without a single policy proposal. Without a single shred of evidence that I improved the quality of life whatsoever. Let me finish the job I started. I'm not finished destroying this country. I'm not done falling upstairs. I'm not done sending money to Ukraine. I'm not done keeping my son out of prison. I'm not done raising gas prices. I'm not done with inflation. I'm not done ignoring the border. I'm not done dividing this country. And I'm sure as hell not done blaming Donald Trump. Look, man, I, I didn't need your vote before. And, and I sure as hell don't need it now. Not a joke. I don't need big rallies. And I don't need your support. I don't work for you. All I need is a basement, a teleprompter, and 10% to prove to America and I can pretend to be president for four more years. This is the United States of the, uh, you know, the, the, the thing. Do I have your coat? Do I have your vote? Perfect. I'm Jill Biden, and I forgot this message. Cut!
How can you be so confident? I have a crystal ball. <laughs> Good night, peasants. So, house drinker. Who said that? How was your trip to Taiwan? Um, <laughs> let, let me let me let me tell you something. Okay. Um, okay. I'm like, uh, I'm 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 bought and paid for. You say bought and paid China for. Great. I mean, it's <laughs> what? Such a free and wonderful place. I said, so so free, <laughs> so free. It's just amazing. So it's just, people. I just I just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what China, anyone. I don't know. I don't know why anyone saying anything sad about China. <laughs> Are, uh, so, are, are you talking about China or Taiwan? What, 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 what was your question? You said China was a free society? Did I say that out loud? <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh my gosh, this sock is strong. Um, I mean, so, I sock him money and I got the money. <laughs> my son Paul was with me. He says, oh, shh, shh, don't say anything about that because it's cool. Um, don't say anything about Paul. Cut, 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 cut that out. <laughs> cut. Cut what out? Uh, uh, the, the, the part about my son Paul coming with me. He was, um, he, he, he was doing business down there. He, he wasn't supposed to do it. <laughs> so just, just uh, cut, cut that part out. Look, this is live. I, I can't cut anything cut, out. Um, cut, cut what out? Your son going to Taiwan with you. I can't cut that what, out. What are you talking about? I, I, I never said anything about that. <laughs> so don't, don't, uh, 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 don't put uh, words in my mouth. <laughs> huh? Yeah, his old trip was just a distraction from my husband, Tom. Uh, Sam. Tom, uh, Summer. Tom, Tom, is it Tom? <laughs> Rhymes with college. Paul. 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 <laughs> That's right. Um, it's just uh, Paul. Um, my husband's Paul's a drinking. <laughs> the see you ask. <laughs> Pull over! <laughs> it's, uh, the much higher than you as it says. Probably a sham footage show. It's just, you know, it's just a college from, you know, it's just with a little grass in the clothing of sugar fountain. <laughs> so, I just... You know, I was, I, I, um, and for a second here, <laughs> I think I might have just had a stroke. Excuse me, house drinker? Yeah? What are your thoughts on the recent activity? Hey, hang on, I, I, I gotta get some to drink. <laughs> Ooh, that is some good hand sanitizer. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's uh, what you wanted. <laughs> House Drinker, are you running again? Of course I'm running again. You guys are supposed to clap now. <laughs> Louder! You're not like doing it right. Ask me this question again. I swear, you peasants out there, you better clap or I'll have your FBI raid all your houses. Um, House Drinker? Yes? Um, are you are you running again? What's with this guy? <laughs> of course I'm running again. <laughs> clap, you sons of bitches! <laughs> let, let, let me explain something to you, peasants. <laughs> This is, um, this is my house, okay? This is my money, this is my power. <laughs> and ain't nobody gonna take it away from me, all right? You hear me? Yeah. Do you hear me? Yes, house drinker! That's what I thought. Now clap, you sons of bitches! Martha's Vineyard Police Department, how can I help you? <laughs> uh, hey, police, this is President Obama. Hey, President Obama, what seems to be the problem? Well, uh, my lawn isn't cut, my weeds aren't pulled, and... There's leaves everywhere. I'm so sorry for your inconvenience, sir. What can I do to help? Uh, well, can you tell me why there's a group of people in front of my house who aren't holding leaf blowers or pushing a lawnmower? What? Uh, there's a group of people in front of my house who aren't using a leaf blower. There's a group of people outside of your house that aren't using a leaf blower? Yep. In Martha's Vineyard? Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're outside of Oprah's, uh, Bill Clinton, and uh, Spike Lee's house, too. And to make matters worse, I don't see a shovel, a weed whacker, or a work truck anywhere. Well, we can't have this kind of activity in this community. Rich and successful people live here. Yeah, me and Michelle have never experienced anything like this in our life. We're terrified. We don't feel safe. We're prisoners in our own home. You poor thing. How many square feet you got? Uh, our house is uh, only 7,000 square feet. Only 7,000? Yep. Wow. You must be living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, our life is pretty hard. We're barely scraping by. Nobody knows our struggle. Well, President Obama, I can assure you that I'll take care of this little problem <laughs> in your front yard. Right? Now. You know, I know this is a sanctuary city and all, but come on, man. These guys aren't even holding the rake. Hello, peasants. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, um, but I've been extremely busy saving lives, saving the planet, and most importantly, I've been saving the children. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta get a drink. <laughs> yeah! What the hell is this? It's water! It's supposed to be vodka! I'm sorry, house drinker! You're fired! What? Next question. House drinker, what's it like to save lives? Well, it's pretty easy with $350 billion. Did you say $350 billion? Yeah. 
Did I stutter? It seems like an awful lot of money. Yeah, it's government funding. <laughs> you mean it's the taxpayers' money? Whatever. It's mine now. <laughs> hey, how's drinker? How's Joe Biden doing? Oh, he's doing a great job. <laughs> he's created like a uh, like a billion jobs. Sure, Sandra. Uh, he ended the pandemic. He stopped the war in Afghanistan. He's helping Ukraine with America's money. And, um, he's bringing the world together. <laughs> he is? Yeah, he is. Not like Trump. Trump wants to build a wall and separate people, but not Joe. No, Joe wants to give everyone from every country the right to vote. <laughs> hey, I was drinker. I was London. It was good. Um, only took me uh ten SUVs, sixteen security guards, and two private jets with the AC set to sixty nine. They went back, <laughs> which is good because um, I usually use twelve SUVs and six jets, but I'm doing my part to save the planet. <laughs> hey, when's your husband going to jail? What was that? I, I said, when's your husband I heard what you said, smartass. And it's none of your business, all right? Next question. You, over there. What do you got? So how do you save the planet? Well, it's simple, actually. Um, <laughs> We raise taxes. Um, You give us more money. We take that money and put it in our pockets. <laughs> That's how you save a planet. House drinker, Chuck Schumer says you're in trouble. Are you worried? Chuck Schumer? Yeah. <laughs> you mean highly flashy Chuck Schumer? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I've been in politics a long time. <laughs> Trust me, everybody's gonna vote for me. Good night, peasants. <laughs> Look, everybody, it's the house drinker, Nancy Pelosi. Hello, peasants. <laughs> I seem to have crapped my pants. <laughs> Damn it, why did I wear all white? Can you see this chain? Hey, what's everybody booing for? Is Trump here? <laughs> Come on, guys, it's me, Nancy. You want cleaner air? You want safe drinking water? <laughs> All I need is $350 billion. Come on, you peggies. Reach into your pockets. Give me your money. What, what, what are they saying? I, I, I can't understand them. I think they're saying Nancy's my hero. They are. They are saying Nancy's my hero. Yep, they are. They love me. They really love me. They really do. <laughs> and they're all going to vote for me. Ew, it smells like cavities and dirty diaper sweat. I'm officially moist. Hey, Nancy, where's the alcohol at? Don't embarrass me, Paul! But I haven't had a drink in like four minutes. Paul, can't you see I'm busy talking to the drummer from Motley Crue? But I'm losing my buzz, Nancy! Me. What? <laughs> so much bigger than Paul's. <laughs> huh? It's okay. Paul likes to wash. Ew! Hey, if you want a sock sip, gotta show me your sip. <laughs> so, so, the, the, the cop says, um... Sure, sure. Have you been drinking? And, and, and then, uh, what'd you tell him, Paul? I told him I said I'm married to Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> and, and, and can I get a call? Uh, 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 and I said, hey, um, you, you let my husband go or you're all fired. <laughs> and, 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 then, and, then, and then what happened, Paul? They let me go. They let him go. <laughs> when I say give me, you say money. Give me. Good night, Peggy. Come on, guys. We need to think of something. I got nothing. Yeah, me neither. I'm drawing a blank. Hey, Jackie. Jackie, you out there? Shut up, Joe. <laughs> Come on, guys. We can't give up. We need to keep trying. But everything we've tried has failed. It's like the more we try, the more powerful we get. Yeah, Nancy, maybe it's time we just give up. I mean, we did try. Yeah, we gave it our best shot. That's not good enough, okay? We can do better. Trump should be in prison. <laughs> well, I can make up a new lie. Yeah, and I could start a new smear campaign. And I can play both sides and confuse the hell out of everybody. That's perfect. This isn't over, guys, all right? We're going to send Trump to prison. Mark my words. We'll get him. Well, <laughs> what if I tweeted that I just received word from an anonymous whistleblower that Trump has ties to America? That's a great idea. Thank you. And while you're doing that, I'll tweet that Trump is trying to sell launch codes. And I'll play both sides. This is perfect. Oh. I just had a great idea. <laughs> Let's hear it. Jackie! What if I said that Donald Trump was arrested for driving under the influence? <laughs> That's pretty good. That's not bad. And then we can say that he has ties to America, and he's trying to sell life codes to Russia. That's a great <laughs> idea, Nancy. Thanks, Jerry. And then we can say that he almost hit someone when he was driving drunk and making deals with America while trying to sell lunch codes to Russia. That's brilliant. I can produce 20 imaginary anonymous victims in five minutes. I can tweet about it while I'm holding the press conference. I don't call conference. our best friends in North Korea. Let them know what's going on. And I'll play both sides and confuse the hell out of everybody. Hey, somebody get pooped in my pants. This is going to work, guys. It has to. We're going to impeach him once and for all for driving under the influence and having ties with America while trying to sell lunch codes to Russia. You think it's going to work, Nancy? 
It has to work, Sherry. Oh, my tweet is already trending on Twitter. Fox News and CNN just showed live footage of Trump driving under the influence while having ties with America and trying to sell more to Russia. We did it again. What's that for so long? They can't find Joe. <laughs> hey, should I sit down or should I be on my knees? Uh, whatever is more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, it's time. We're going to make ah. history tonight. All right, we found him. Let's do it. Wait, what? Where am I? What's going on? Oh, is that Eric? Oh, man. I hope he don't fart on me. Oh, man, this is weird. <laughs> hey, hey, I know you. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Uh, my, my, my fellow, uh... Oh, damn it. What comes after my fellow? Uh, my it's fellow... American my Joe. Fellow, uh... Come on, Joe. Uh, Joe. my fellow, uh... Oh, oh, my fellow potatoes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can someone please turn on the teleprompter? Hey, hey, uh, 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 this, this is pre-recorded, right? Yes, it's pre-recorded, but you still need to uh, read the lines, right, Joe. Uh, well, uh... Well, uh, while we let the, uh, the teleprompter warm up, uh, I, I, I'd like to introduce President Pamela Carrots. <laughs> Yo, my name is Kamala. Uh, uh, are you saying Pamela? No, I'm saying Kamala. I, I, is, that, is that with a P or a Q? It's with a K. Oh, so the P and the Q are silent. Oh, my gosh. Can someone get the teleprompter working? And, uh, 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 introducing uh, the, 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 the house trigger. Clancy Pingrosi. My name is not Clancy Pingrosi. I sure do love these Pamela Carrots inspired face masks. <laughs> this mask is like a pearl necklace of masks. <laughs> <laughs> I needed a mask where I could open my mouth. Opening your mouth <laughs> is very important. Oh, you got it. Jay Willikers, we're so lucky to have a real president. Yo, wake uh, up. <laughs> uh, 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 everybody, uh, remember to wear your mask always. Right. I got shoe vaccinations and um, I still wear shoe masks. Um, you can never be too safe. Hey, never, never. You used to wear two raincoats. Oh, my uh, gosh. <laughs> well, e even if you're the last person on Earth, you need to still wear a mask. That's true, you know, because um, even though you're the last person on Earth, Wait, what? you can still breathe your own air. Yeah, you don't want to what, what are we talking about? <laughs> Finally, a real president. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, man, excuse me. Uh, good thing I got my mask on. Hey, hey, uh, is, is that teleprompter thing working yet? <laughs> man, it feels so good to have a real president hey, standing in front of me. I'm over here, man. I, I hope I don't have to answer any questions today. Sure. Uh, no. Oh, boy, I tell you, I get in a load of trouble sure. when, I answer, uh, sure. when I answer questions. Can you believe it? I mean, right. Even the president gets in trouble. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, so, so, sometimes I... Sometimes I wonder who, who's really in uh, charge. Uh, just <laughs> look at him. A real president. He's so hey, composed and confident. I mean, oh. he really has changed America. <laughs> oh, my leg fell asleep. He damn knee pads is too well, tight. Well, it's a good thing that the fact checkers went out of business. <laughs> yeah, we don't need fact checkers. Everything we say is true. Everything we say is true. Yeah, me, me, me neither. Uh, 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 in 120 years, I've never told a lie. Me when, when, when I say something to a, uh, 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 oh, oh, where the hell are we again? We're an American show. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. when, when, when I say something to, to uh, uh, wherever the hell we are, it, it, it's always the truth. Always the truth. Ain't exactly that the truth, yeah. you know? It's, it's physically impossible for me to tell a lie. It's like I tried once in the mirror, and I just couldn't do it. I, I just can't tell a lie. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I, I've never told a lie. That's right. That's the truth. You're doing it, Joe! The only person what? that ever needed a fact checker, fact checker? was Mr. Poopy Pants. Trump. <laughs> Trump needed 10 fact checkers every time he talked. Hey, is it break time yet? I need a snack and a nap. I mean, my knees are about to give out. My knees never give out. Wait, what? Kamala, you need to be in the Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> hey, I need to be in the Guinness Book of World Records for my 80 million fans. Yeah, your fans, they love you so much. Yeah, wait, I mean, what? we have to disable the comments on Bro. all your videos. On the internet, we shut down. I get fan mail every day. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's so refreshing to have what? a real presence. <laughs> Oh, right here, it's like, hey, I don't even I? have to rip anything up today. <laughs> Thank you, Joe Biden, for hey, being the best president in the universe. Hey, 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 uh, uh, <laughs> is that teleprompter working yet? <laughs> oh, Joe. <laughs> Joe, Joe, say, I like moist cake with peanut butter. <laughs> uh, I like moist cake with peanut butter. Joe, <laughs> <laughs> say, sloppy, sloppy, whippy, whippy. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> sloppy, sloppy, whippy, whippy. Slappy, flappy, whippy, wappy. Yo, say, Suri's doing flashy, swishy, flirt wobbles. Suri doing flashy, swishy, flirt wobbles. Yo, say, moist. Moist. Yo, say, purple is the same color as the number three. Purple is the same color as the number three. All right, Joe. Say, I'm President Teleprompter. You want fries with that? I'm President Teleprompter. You want fries with that? Joe, say, ew, it smells like a fish farted in here. <laughs> yeah, it smells like a fish farted in here. <laughs> Joe, Joe, say, my fellow potatoes, 
Too light to gum taste weird. <laughs> uh, my fellow potatoes, too light the to gum taste weird. So, reach into your pocket and say, I want to read my husband Jill's grocery list. <laughs> Jill's grocery list. Now, look at the list and say, 9% milk, squirrel food, dehydrated water, <laughs> and Japan. <laughs> uh, 9% milk, squirrel food, dehydrated water, and depends. <laughs> Joe, stare at the camera and don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, Joe, say, I ship my elf. <laughs> uh, I ship my elf. Yo, say, I, Sofa, King, we, charge, dig. <laughs> I, Sofa, King, we, charge, dig. Yo, say, toy boat three times fast. <laughs> toy boat three times fast. No, yo, say, toy boat three times fast. Toy boat three times fast. Yo, say, I want a mess. <laughs> I want a mess. <laughs> So, say, uh, kids, respect your parents, especially your mom and dad. Uh, uh, kids, uh, 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 respect your parents, uh, especially your mom and dad. So, say, I have two cats, and both of them are dogs. Uh, I have two cats, and, uh, uh, uh both of them are dogs. All right, so, ask Jackie if she's here. Jackie, are you here? <laughs> so, say, where's Jackie? Uh, 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 where's Jackie? <laughs> yeah, just mumbled something. <laughs> Somebody's news in and the milkman just got him around in, uh, in the back. Ah, the son of a bitch actually said! <laughs> 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> yeah, I need help. What seems to be the problem? I've been kidnapped. Okay, sir. I'm gonna need you to stay calm. All right, all right, I'm calm. <laughs> oh, damn it! I just pooped my pants! I'm so embarrassed. It's okay. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> oh, good. Sure, can you describe your kidnappers? Yeah, one of them's a lady with a, 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 a dirty blonde hair. What's she wearing? Uh, 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 she's wearing like a tablecloth or some curtains. What does she look like? Uh, uh, she, uh, she, she, she looks like Alice Cooper. Is there more than one kidnapper? Oh, yeah, there's lots of them. Bunch of weirdos. They kidnap me every day. Where do they take you? Well, they usually take me to a stage and make me read stuff off a teleprompter. Then they make me sniff kids. Interesting. Do they make you do anything else? Yeah, they bring me to a room and make me sign papers and answer pre-approved questions. Have they told you why they're doing this? No, they just say do it or your son's going to prison. That's awful. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But the worst part is they hardly ever take me out to get ice cream. Ice cream? Yeah, I hardly ever get ice cream. Joe, is that you? Yeah, I'm Joe. How'd you know my name? Joe, you get back in your cage this instant. How did you get out? Oh, come on, man. Nancy? Did you hear that? Nancy? Nancy, where are you? Is somebody here? Hello? I'm calling the police now. Put your phone down. Oh, how, how'd you get in here? How, how'd you get past my armed guards and my million dollar security system? Silence! This is MAGA country! Are, are you a Trump supporter? D don't hurt me. I'll, I'll give you stock tips. This is MAGA country! Vote for Trump! Please don't hurt me. Take whatever you want. Take my money. Take my wife. But please, don't hurt me. Paul, are you serious? Nancy? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's Friday, isn't it? Yeah, Paul. It's Friday. I'm sorry, Nancy. I totally forgot the home invasion thing. Take my wife? Seriously? I'm sorry. I'm still drunk. I don't even know what's going on right now. We've been planning this home invasion for months, Paul. You couldn't stay sober for one night? Midterms are less than two weeks away! Sorry, Nancy. It's okay. <laughs> Let's just get this over with. Wait, get what over with? Oh, I'm just gonna beat the hell out of you while I scream mega country. <laughs> You're gonna do what? Hand me that golf club, Paul. <laughs> are you okay, sir? Yeah, I'm alright. Can you tell me what happened? <clears throat> um, uh, a, a Trump supporter uh, 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 broke into my house and beat me up. Could you identify him? <clears throat> uh, he had a ski mask on and uh, a red MAGA hat. Did he say anything to you? <clears throat> yeah, he, he said this is MAGA country. Vote for Trump. It works! <laughs> Thank you, Shazzy. Uh, oh, you you're know, I still have to go to jail? Where am I? You're at the Saxon Hospital. <laughs> what, what happened? Uh, you got hammered last night. <laughs> what? Did I get another DUI? No, you literally got hammered. Huh? 
Uh, somebody broke into our house last night and hammered you. <laughs> but how? How do you get past our armed guards and security system? I don't know. <laughs> Nancy! What? Did you let him in like you let them in on January 6th? What? I, I was in Washington! Nancy! <laughs> All right, I might have just selected the security system and some... I might have uh, given the arm guards a night off and some... I might have left the front door open. Nancy! <laughs> hey, but look at you, you're doing great! You're, you're healing up just fine. So many people are gonna feel sorry for you and us. <laughs> Did you do this because of the midterms? Paul! I'm afraid you would even suggest that. Well, look who's away. Oh, hey, doctor. <laughs> How's our hero doing? Wait a minute. That guy's a doctor? No, but he plays one on TV. <laughs> Your husband survived. He can go home now. Thanks, Dr. Smollett. I'll never forgive you for this, Nancy. Settle down, Paul. I mean, look on the bright side. At least you survived. <laughs> but what if I didn't survive, Nancy? Well, if you didn't survive, um... Nancy? Just imagine all those sympathy votes if you didn't make it. Nancy? <coughs> Sorry, Paul. You're just collateral damage. <laughs> Farewell. So, um, how, how you doing, Paul? <laughs> Feeling any better? Yeah, I'm all right. Just a little hot. Well, you should eat in your underwear. It's a good idea. Do you like your dinner? Not really. Well, can I make you something else? Well, I could go for a huge hot dog. Yeah? Yeah, the bigger the better. <laughs> I, I, I didn't even know you liked hot dogs. Mm, I love hot dogs. Always have. It's funny. I've never seen you eat a hot dog. Yeah, well, I only eat hot dogs when you're out of town. <laughs> so, um, you want a big, juicy hot dog? Then? Oh, yeah, that's that sounds good. <laughs> what about a nice, big, hot corn dog? Oh, even better. Oh, my gosh. Maybe a long, spicy sausage or a fat carrot. <laughs> oh, boy, my mouth is watering. And you can wash it all down with some sick, creamy eggnog. Oh, I love eggnog. You like it sick, don't you, Paul? Oh, yeah. Thicker the better. Yeah, that's oh. moist. You gotta swallow all of it, Toto. Don't wanna waste it dry. Oh, I won't. I won't. What about a cinnamon hot eggplant? Oh, <laughs> eggplants are my favorite. Yeah, I bet you could fit a whole eggplant in your mouth, can't you? Oh, I'm so hungry right now, I probably could. You like them thick, saucy pickles? Oh, yeah. I could probably eat a whole jar right yeah, now. I bet you could. How about some sweet, hot, buttery corn on the cob? Oh, my gosh. I love corn on the cob. Let's just buy some corn that's as big as a hammer. Oh, I got a buddy who loves corn. Hello, patients. Um, as many of you know, um, an illegal immigrant and racist Trump supporter was able to get past my arm guards and my alarm system. How did he do that? We, we have no idea. But he was able to break into my seven bedroom, 29,500 square feet mansion, undetected. <laughs> and my husband was hammered. He was drunk? No, I mean, he, he was literally hammered. House drinker, how do you feel about- Stop! Hammer time! <laughs> what? Sorry, that, that, that song has like been stuck in my head. Um, what, what was your question? How do you know he was a Trump supporter? I, isn't it obvious? Um, he, he tried to break my kneecaps. I mean, I, I, I should have been the next Nancy Kerrigan. <laughs> you know, Democrats don't do things like this. You know, Democrats are peaceful. House drinker, how did the attacker get inside your home? That's not important. What's important is that we blame Trump for this. Miss Drinker, where is the security footage? Does it matter? I mean, are, are you some kind of pervert? Why, why do you need to see the security footage? Um, to see what happens? What happens is my husband is in hospital because of a racist Trump supporting illegal immigrants. And it's all Trump's fault. How is it Trump's fault? Because I said it is. Well, why were they both in their underwear? Is it a crime to be in your underwear? <laughs> Are we not allowed to wear underwear in our own homes? Well, don't you think it's a little weird that both of them were in their underwear? What's weird about it? I mean, w w would you rather they were naked? You pervert! No, I'm, I'm just saying it's weird. What's weird is, this is Trump's fault. And he hasn't even been arrested yet. But how is it Trump's fault? Because I said it is. That's why. House drinker, the 911 call said the attacker was a friend of your husband. Yeah. Well? Well, what? Well, were they friends or not? Well, I mean, they, they, they were in their underwear together. I mean, <laughs> they bought it. I mean, have, have you seen Wild Hogs? Have, have you seen Brokeback Mountain? House drinker. Yeah. Your husband's DUI. Yeah. Was the attacker the mystery passenger? Oh, oh, here comes a hammer. Oh, oh, here comes a hammer. <laughs> it's hammer time. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, what you, never, you never heard of MC Hammer? Well, yeah, <laughs> I've heard of MC Hammer. Hey, here, here's a question for you, all right? Why, why isn't anyone asking about Trump's taxes? House drinker, this just seems all too coincidental. 
Oh, yeah? Uh, uh, how so? Well, midterms are just days away. How dare you? You really think I would be able to do something like this for sympathy votes? <laughs> well, I mean, it is, you know. I would never do something like this. And quite frankly, I'm extremely afraid that you would even assume that I was capable of constructing such a thing. It just seems an awful lot like January Today 6th. we're joined with no House more Speaker, Nancy Pelosi. Hey, thanks for having me on the show, friend. <laughs> it's, uh, George. I, I thought you say smart. No, it's George. Are you saying force? No, I'm saying George. Well, excuse me. <laughs> Source. So, House Drinker. It's actually pronounced House Drinker. That's what I said. That's what I said. <laughs> so, when is Paul going to serve his sentence? Uh, what? what did I, you I said when... I heard what you said, okay? But I think my husband's been through enough, don't you? So, he's not going to serve his time? For, for what? Be, being the victim of a stage hammer attack? <laughs> he's lucky to be alive. No, for, for the DUI he was arrested for. That's in the past. It doesn't even matter anymore. It doesn't? No, oh, it doesn't matter. House drinker, are you... Oh, it's a as fuck right now. I I'm sorry, what was that? What? I are you planning on retiring soon? Are you insane? Why, why would I retire? Well, because you're 82. 82 is a new 40. Plus, America needs me. Well, don't you think it's time to let someone a little younger and a little less corrupt take over? What? So they can get all the stock ships and get rich and powerful and have control of all the peasants? <laughs> well, I was actually thinking more in lines of helping Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Americans don't need help. Other countries need help. I think Americans need help, too. I think I know what Americans need, okay? <laughs> I've been lying for my money for a long time. But Americans are hungry. They need money. They're hungry. They need money. <laughs> <laughs> Most of these peasants don't even have jobs. What, what do they need money for? Um, To live? To eat? To live? To eat? Yeah? L l listen to me, okay? All right. I, I need money to live and eat. And... and, and, and and, and the only people that need money are, are successful people. Successful Important people? Important people, you know, rich people who, who have mansions and cars and expensive ice cream. Well, what about those that are less fortunate than you? <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> they get what I give them. Okay, um, house drinker. Yeah? Are you afraid the Republicans are going to vote you out? Nope, not at all. How come? Because I see the future. <laughs> you do? Yeah, I got a crystal ball. How do you see the future? You want answers? Well, yeah, I'm a journalist. You want answers? I want the truth. You say hell is true. Yeah, I can. So we live in a country where politicians are rich and powerful. Who's going to do our jobs, huh? Uh, you? I'd like to be rich and powerful. Shut up. Okay. You have the luxury of not being rich and powerful like me. I do? Yeah. You don't want the truth because I won't give you the truth. Well, how come you won't give me the truth? Because, um... You, you want me on that wall. I do? You need me on that wall. <laughs> what? Um, we, we use words like shitting, society, and money. Okay. <laughs> we use these words as a backbone of life spent trying to control something. You use them as a punchline. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. I have used the time of the inebriation to explain myself to a man who rises and sleeps in the blanket of fear and poverty that I provide. <laughs> so you don't plan on going anywhere? Nope. Get used to this face, America. <laughs> just like Peter, just like Feinstein. I'm in this So, life. what happens when you, you when know... When I go, <laughs> it'll be a regular weekend in Nancy's. I'll be pulling strings from heaven. Heaven? Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? <laughs> yeah, can I get a Wab Burger and some French fries? Uh, I'm sorry, did you say you wanted a Wab Burger and some French fries? Yeah, <laughs> and a Diet Coke. Pull up to the <laughs> second window, please. <laughs> Ah, I should have known it was you. How you doing, Squirt Bottle? <laughs> you work at McDonald's now? No, I don't work at McDonald's. Then what are you doing here? I'm just here, um, volunteering. <laughs> <laughs> volunteering? You? Yeah. You know, giving back to the community. <laughs> How? By spitting on everybody and using McDonald's to launder your inside and trade them money? For your information, I'm helping to feed America. Well, that's a first. And just what the hell is that supposed to mean? Exactly what I said. For your information, I'm helping people. <laughs> Something you know nothing about. <laughs> What's so funny? Everything you just said. Get out of here, <laughs> Trump. Because of you, I'm stuck here feeding peasants. Hey, it's not my fault you were going to get voted out. Oh, wait. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that's a lie. If it's a lie, then what are you doing here? Well, because uh, I just... Felt it after 35 years of political corruption. <laughs> I needed to spend more time with my family. That's why I decided not to run. Yeah, because nobody was going to vote for you. <laughs>
Whatever, Trump. Hi, my name is um Joe. Joe, and I identify as the president. My name is Nancy, and I identify as someone who cares about you. Today, we're going to be talking about Joe nouns. What are Joe nouns? Joe nouns are um uh wait, what what were we talking about? Joe nouns are words that let people know that Joe Biden is doing a great job. Yeah, for example, <laughs> I mean, instead of saying "Wow, those gas prices are horrible." Use your Joe nouns. Say, wow, Joe Biden is awesome. And that just sounds better. And it puts people in a great mood. <laughs> yeah, when people say gas prices are horrible, that really hurts my feelings. And it's offensive. And my name is Joe. Using Joe nouns is simple. Anybody can use them. For example, instead of saying, I can't believe how high inflation is, use your Joe nouns and say, I can't believe how great Joe Biden is. <laughs> and that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Feeling warm and fuzzy is... What show nouns are all about. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Just like when you hear a crowd scream, fuck Joe Biden or let's go, Brandon. Use your Joe nouns and scream back, Joe Biden is the greatest president that ever lived. Show nouns are easy to use and they can turn a bad situation into a wonderful experience. For example, if you hear the news say that Joe Biden's approval rating is low, use your Joe nouns and say, <laughs> that's a <Yeah>. lie. <laughs> and if you hear someone saying, hey, that Joe Biden can't walk upstairs or ride a bike, use your Joe nouns and tell him, Joe Biden got 81 million votes. And when you hear some racist Trump supporters saying Trump won, <laughs> use your Joe nouns and say no. Miss Pelosi, to the best of your knowledge, tell us what happened that day. I remember like it was yesterday. I was doing what I always do, cheering for America. Hello, kind sir. How can I help you? You can start by giving me all your money. This is mega country. We were horrified. He kept screaming, this is mega country. He made us read the Constitution and ah, he tried to inject ah, everyone with bleach. I thought I was going to die. He poured bleach on me and made me say the Pledge of Allegiance. I just wanted to order a Diet Coke. <laughs> so there I was, riding my bike to the Capitol, when all of a sudden... They're all under my control. He said if we didn't do what he wanted, his best friend Ray Epps was going to pay us all a visit. Do what I say, or I swear I'm going to call my best buddy Ray Epps. I never felt so helpless before. I felt like I stepped on a bee. I could barely move. But I knew I had to do something. So I took the law into my own hands. Hey, punk! What? Put the bleach down and get out of here! Who's gonna make me? Me! That's who! Oh yeah? Yeah! You in what army? This army! Yeah! I like almost died that day! Get out and stay out! Alright, I'm sorry. I'll leave. Yeah, you better leave! He was totally trying to date me. Damn racist! <laughs> so? Did he leave? Yeah, he left. And then he stole a limousine and screamed, This is MAGA country! While he just showed us on the front lawn. This is MAGA country! It was the darkest day in American history. Hey, O.C., come on and celebrate day six with us. <laughs> it's July already? <laughs> Nancy, can you read us the story, please? All right. <laughs> but afterwards, you kids need to get to bed, or... <laughs> we know! The insurrection fairy <laughs> won't come. It was the night after day six, and all through the house. A.O.C. was still hiding. And... Nancy, can we open just one J6 present? Please! I don't know. Please! Have you kids been good all year? <laughs> yes! Yeah! I've been good! All right. <laughs> you can open one J6 present, and then it's off to bed. Yay! Remember, kids, the insurrection fairy is always watching you. We know! <laughs> now open your presents! I don't want this! What's the insurrection fairy bring you? It's a job application! application in years. Sorry. Adam, what'd you get? Hot dogs and pasta. Adam gets everything. Me and Liz got screwed. Yeah, me and Adam did everything you told us to, and we still got the shot. Hey, you kids need to be more thankful. There's poor kids in America who can't even afford food. Sorry. Now off the bench. But Nancy, we forgot to leave the vodka and ice cream out for the insurrection fairy. I'm way ahead of you. The impact what happened on July the 6th had international repercussions beyond what I think any of you can fully understand. 
Merry insurrection to all. And let's in peace, Trump, tonight. <laughs> Happy July 6th, everybody. All right, convicts. It's count time. I need all you prisoners to stand up. <laughs> Ray Epps, prisoner Ray Epps, please stand up in your cell. It's count time. Hmm, that's weird. Doesn't seem to be anybody in here. <laughs> prisoner Hillary Clinton. Hello, prisoner Clinton. It's count time. Hmm, that's strange. Hunter Biden. Hello, prisoner Hunter Biden. Are you in here? Prisoner Hunter Biden, come out of your cell. It's count time. <laughs> Something fishy is going on around here. Sorry, I like totally forgot to shower. Prisoner Barack Obama, stand up. It's count time. Prisoner Barack Obama, where the hell is everybody? Bill Clinton, hello, prisoner Bill Clinton. It's count time. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anybody in here either. <laughs> everybody on Jeffrey Epstein's client list, stand up. It's count time. Did you hear me? I said everyone on Jeffrey Epstein's client list, stand up. There's got to be an explanation for this. Where the hell is everybody? Did you finish counting the prisoners? I guess. <laughs> There's nobody here. That's weird. Yeah, it's very weird. Well, well, well what? Trump's tax returns? Yeah, about that. <laughs> um, it, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad like we finally got him? Not exactly. Is it pretty bad like we almost got him? I wouldn't say that either. Well, how bad is it? Yeah, I need to know. What did they say? I'm not sure you're ready for this, since, um, <laughs> quite honestly, I'm not sure America is ready for this. Tell us, Nancy. Yeah, I have to know. Well, go on. Donald Trump's tax returns. Yeah, Donald Trump's tax returns. Prove beyond a reasonable doubt. Prove beyond a reasonable doubt what? Yeah, what do they prove? I have to know. Tell me. Well, I'm not really sure how to say this, but, um. What is it, Nancy? Yeah, what is it? Donald Trump's tax returns prove that he has ties to America. No! That's not all. It's not? No. It gets worse. What? We also found out that Donald Trump... Yeah? He pays what he owes. No! Put yourself together. We need damage control immediately. Okay. okay? Adam, I need six new lives by 12 o'clock. Okay. Actually, make that 12 new lives by 6 o'clock. Done. What do you want me to do? Just I need you to get on every news station and tell everyone that having ties to America and paying what you owe is racist. Son, what are you going to do? I'm going to do what I do best. <laughs> Drink? No. Eat ice cream? No. Money laundering? No. I'm going to start a smear campaign. <laughs> hey, Nancy, Chuck, Adam, when are you going to show your taxes? <laughs> Can you take my order? What? <laughs> I'm speaking waitress. Don't you understand? You're, you're, you're supposed to say, can I take your order? Yeah! Why would I take your order? <laughs> you're not the boss of me. <laughs> Whatever. Just give me a bottle with some vodka in it. <laughs> and and I'll, uh, I'll get the free taxpayer's eggs benedict, please. And for the racist? I'll just have another glass of liberal teas. <laughs> <laughs> he totally wants to date me. Trading cards? Really? <laughs> What's wrong with that? America's a mess! And you're selling trading cards? Yeah? So? So? How dare you! Nobody wants to... Stupid cars, Trump. Well, you ordered five of them. Hey, <laughs> that was supposed to be confidential. <laughs> oh, the ego on you, Trump. You should be more concerned with helping America. Like us. Yeah, you're nothing but a grifter. Get rich off peasants. My, my, my. How quickly you all forget. Forget what? Yeah. You never helps America. You only help yourself. Yep. Apparently you forgot how I donated every single payroll check to America for four years. <laughs> so what? Anyone should have done that. Yeah, anybody could do that. You never did nothing for America. I tried. You wouldn't let me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What did you try to do, Trump? Ha, this should be good. Remember when I asked for $5 billion to finish the wall? Yeah, yes. Well, how come you couldn't give me the $5 billion to build the wall? Because we didn't have $5 billion. Yeah, we didn't have $5 billion. You didn't have $5 billion? No. We didn't have five billion, okay? So you didn't have the five billion then? I think we've established that. Yeah, Trump, we've already established okay. that. Okay, well, how could you not have five billion then, but you have 700 billion now? And the wall's still not finished. Well, ah. um, <laughs> it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's pretty simple, really. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's real simple. Can to explain? <laughs> well, if you must know, um, we, we didn't have the five billion then. Yeah. But we do have the 700 billion now. I know. <laughs> Now explain why. Because I said so. Yeah, because he said so. Would it have anything to do with laundering money? Oh, how oh, dare you say such a thing? 
live! You never lose your money! Yeah, and I bet you never use one of your magical stock tips either! Hey! <laughs> Whatever! This is silly since you'll never be house speaker. Oh, really? <laughs> this is just like temporary until my acting career takes off. Everybody here? Oh, oh yeah. yeah! All right, uh, let's begin. Uh, where's Kamala? Um, <laughs> She's under the table looking oh. for a pearl necklace. Oh. What's she doing under there? Um, her oh. shop. Kamala, come out from under the table. Yeah, come up for air, Kamala. No, 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 no. Just, just, just let her finish what she's doing. Yeah, yeah let oh. her finish. She's got her hands oh. full, Nancy. <laughs> Can we get down to business, please? Oh. <laughs> Is Kamala okay? Oh, yeah. Of course she's fine. <laughs> she's got her knee pads on. So, Kevin, yeah? Are you going to play on our team or not? I don't know. What team are you oh, on? Oh, yeah. I'm on the money team. We're all on the money team. Oh. Isn't that right, Chuck? Yeah. Oh. Don't stop. Oh, yeah, God. don't stop. Yeah, the money train never oh. stops. Choo-choo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could be less silent for try hard enough. Yeah. In fact, we should all be taking notes on what silent is doing right now. I, I agree. agree. And we need to shut down Twitter, too. Oh. We can't allow these peasants oh. to have free speech. So, oh. Kevin, are you in or are you out? I don't know. I told everyone I was going to fire Ilhan Chef and Swalwell. So what? I say stuff all the time. <laughs> Nobody cares. Yeah, I, I say stuff all the time. No, nobody even knows what I'm saying. He's right, Kevin. Nobody cares. But don't Republicans care? Are you serious? I don't know. <laughs> Kevin, if the Republicans cared, they would do something. Yeah, but they don't. They just turn the other cheek. Let us do whatever we want. <laughs> but they are doing some things, aren't they? I don't know. Ask Mitch. <laughs> yeah, the Republicans are doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they let me get elected. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Joe. What? What did I say? <clears throat> oh. The bottom line is this. If the Republicans were going to do something, they would have done it already. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, so is oh. Cobble the money oh. side, Kevin. Oh. We'll take good care of you. Oh. Oh. You really think I should? Yeah. Free ice cream, free stock chips. Everything. Oh, yeah. Well, what do I have to do? You just do whatever we tell you to do. <laughs> ha! I'm a... Joe. Joe. And I'm Nancy. And, and we've, we've got, got eggs. eggs. <laughs> do you like eggs? Uh, uh, do you, you want to buy some eggs but just can't afford them? Have you searched every grocery store in town only to find empty shelves? So, read the teleprompter. Oh, oh uh, 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 well, you're a duck. No, it, it, it says you're in luck. Yeah, that's what I said. You want eggs? We got eggs. And for just 17 payments of only $19.99, you can have eggs, too. For just 13 payments of only $17.99, you can have a half dozen eggs that may or may not be made from vegetables. Absolutely free. For just 22 payments of only $14.99, plus 19 payments of just $34.77. That's less than an Abrams thing. And, and if you act now, I'll even throw in an empty egg carton filled with some of Hunter's Easter eggs he never found for only 37 payments of only $465. That's a 25 cent value, absolutely free, for just 10 payments of $1,759. That's less than a payment to you, Craig. But wait, that's not all. For a limited time, I'll even throw in a $20 scratched off lottery ticket for only 20 bucks. What do you think about that, White House Press Secretary? Be to the White House Council. But that's not all. You'll also be entered into a drawing for a chance to win $20 for only 17 payments of only 60 bucks. That's a 25 cent value, absolutely free, after 14 payments of only $27.99. And if you send us a check for $99, I'll even throw in this never before used hammer for only six payments of just $45, plus $35 for shipping and handling. That's a fourteen dollar value, absolutely free, for just four hundred and four dollars plus fifteen hundred bucks. And with every purchase, we'll donate two million dollars to his train. <laughs> but wait, we're not done. For an additional fourteen hundred dollars, I'll throw in a carton of partially used egg whites that may or may not contain cat hair, absolutely free, for just six payments of only seventeen ninety nine. <laughs> wow, that's almost a full carton. But wait, there's more. <laughs> and because this is all Trump's fault. The first hundred callers will get to smell all the evidence on me and Hunter. And I'll even throw in a used gas card with no money on it. Absolutely free. Wow, that's amazing. But wait, that's not all. No, no. For a limited that, time. That's it, Joe. Oh. Read the teleprompter, Joe. <laughs> and remember, people, if you're poor, weak, and hungry. That's the way we like it. <laughs> it's all Trump's fault, right? You got that right. Oh, I'm so mad right now. What's wrong, Nancy? Yeah. What's wrong? Some Trump supporters stood up to me today. 
Who cares? It's just one Trump supporter. Yeah. Who cares about one puny Trump supporter? Yeah. You're right. I'm probably just overreacting. <laughs> I mean, it was only just one Trump supporter. Yeah. There's nothing to worry about. Yeah. So you're saying there's nothing to worry about? Of course not. We're Democrats. I see your point, but what if two Trump supporters stood up to me? Who cares? We got security. Yeah, and lots of it. What if a hundred Trump supporters stood up to me? That's why we have the military. Okay, but what if a million Trump supporters stood up to me? Um, uh, let me explain something to you. If I let one Trump supporter stand up to me, then they all might stand up to me. Those puny Trump supporters outnumber us a thousand to one. And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. This isn't about money. This is about power. And keeping those Trump supporters in line. All right, Trump, give it up. You're under arrest. <laughs> for what? What? For what? For what? <laughs> I can't understand him. Take his censorship mask off. I said for what? Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm not really sure. <laughs> um... You guys know why he's being arrested? Nope, no clue, I don't no. even know where I am right now. <laughs> you guys have no clue why you're arresting me? Hey, hey, hey! You go to jail! For what? Exactly. We don't want people like you in America, Trump. This is ridiculous. Shouldn't you do nothing Democrats be investigating Hunter Biden or Epstein's client list? Don't be stupid. Democrats don't investigate Democrats. Yeah. Why would we investigate ourselves? So, can you guys tell me why I'm being arrested? I don't know, but, um, <laughs> we'll think of something. Hey, hey, hey! American taxpayers are paying good money to see you arrested for no reason. <laughs> well, what if I didn't run for president? Well, I mean, if you don't run for president, I mean, <laughs> there's really no reason for you to be arrested. Right? No. Not at all. So all I gotta do is not run for president and you won't arrest me? Hey, hey, hey. That's right. I I'm not trying to pressure you or anything. <laughs> but you got a deal? No. No deal. Well, then you're under arrest. Take him away. So let me get this straight. You got a crime wave in New York City. The banking system is collapsing. The border is wide open. But arresting me is your top priority? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is political prosecution. Yeah, well... What are you going to do about it? I'm going to ask my supporters to peacefully protest this injustice. <laughs> Peaceful protest? <laughs> That's against the law. What do you think you are? America? So, House Twinker, you've been in office for 34 years now. What have you been up to? Well, um... <clears throat> um... Drinking. Lots of drinking. Um, are, are you still drinking? Uh, no, 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 no. Um, that's, uh... That's behind me now. <laughs> what, what are, you, are you buying? Uh, in the history of America, <laughs> there, there's been no other president with, with a lower approval rating. No other president with, with a higher standard for putting America last. A man who raised cash prices and inflation. Simultaneously, a president that looked away from the border while crime flooded this country. A legend that gave almost all of America's money to other countries while trying to restore himself out of prison. A hero that did everything we told him to do. And a visionary who said everything that we told him to say. Politicians are richer because of this man. He did it all for the children. And that's why I fully endorse the most remarkable, Man. the most heroic <laughs> president like toilet wall of all time. <laughs> Stop it, Joe. You're going to make me moist. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in re-electing Joe Biden for president. Let's keep making the government rich. <laughs> well, America, <laughs> today's the day I put down the hammer. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> Today I walk away from my amazing legacy. It's Nancy's time now. <laughs> time to enjoy my life and work on my marriage. <laughs> I've earned it. That my 37 years of saving America has come to an end. The entire nation is grateful for me, you know? So many people have thanked me for saving this country. Just look at some of these amazing tweets from trusted politicians like 
Joe Biden, Barack Obama, and Kamala Harris. Adam Schiff said I reminded him of Muhammad Ali because I'm a champion. <laughs> I never back down from a fight. Yeah, I did some amazing things for you peasants in, in America, you know, and, and you should all be on your hands and knees taking me. Looking back, I never really asked for anything in return but happiness. I just wanted to help America. I never did anything illegal, and I always made sure everyone was taken care of, but that's just me. That's just who I am, and that's who I've always been. And that's who I'll always be, so there's no need to investigate me. <laughs> Just say goodbye and forget all about me. <laughs> you know, I didn't get into politics to get rich or to be above the law or to, to better my life. No, no, I, I, I got into politics to save America. <laughs> yeah, my net worth is 500 million, but that 500 million is honest money. It's clean. And I earned that money while helping America, so, and that's exactly what I did, you know, I, 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 I saved you all, <laughs> I mean, just look around, you'll see what I've done. What did you do? Well, I, um, let's see, um, you remember that 600 bucks I gave everybody? Um, I, I, and I impeached Donald Trump twice, I, I healed a lot, um, I gave a folded flight to George Floyd's family, I invested in some stock, made some smear campaigns, Oh, January 16th, uh, Russia, Russia, Russia. Um, I, did, I didn't wear a mask at the hairdresser. Um, I drank a little, ate some ice cream, invested in some more stock, ripped up some historical documents, <laughs> nailed some more, got rich, got richer, then I got really rich. <laughs> I ignored the homeless, and, um, I got rich. <laughs> but in the end, you know, it's like, um, I've always said I, I've, I've always put America first. And that's why I'm endorsing my daughter. January 6th filmmaker to be the next house drinker. <laughs> well, I gotta get hammered, so, um, it's time to celebrate. Good night, peasants! <laughs>